<laughs> well, hello, my loves, and welcome to today's live stream filmed on August 28th of 2020, the world's worst year ever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I haven't done a live in so long that I'm just nervous, so just get me some slack. All right, let me see who all is here. We got. It says we got one person watching. That's not true, because we got people in the chat. There's 21 people here. Oh, okay, yay. <laughs> 21 people heard my obnoxious oh. joke. Many it'll only, it'll only get worse from here. So At least you can admit it. <laughs> oh, hey, well, hello, here. everybody. All right, who all do we have in the house? Let me click up here. I, I see you talking. <laughs> I'm talking. Oh. Ray's here. Kristen. Robin. Mary Mary, she made it. Hi. Pam. Hello, everybody. So I got to address one major issue that we're having tonight. And the elephant in the room? <laughs> we have a cricket in the room and it's somewhere in the room i'm sure you guys can hear it it's driving me insane and it's probably gonna drive you a little insane i sh probably shouldn't have mentioned it and you wouldn't have even noticed it. but it's really loud it's summer and it's not gonna stop <laughs> so i'm sorry in advance <laughs> oh let's see i think is this is this raven did she change her name i think that's raven melissa made it hi try stay picker mom Maria, we got so many. Okay. Yeah, you, you missed some. Eric from Eric, uh, from Germany. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, it's it's the morning time for him. Go up a little bit more. Go up a little yeah. bit more. Crazy Doxy lady. Oh, there Donna. she is. Hi, Nancy. Donna. Luan, uh, Luan Petrie. Oh hi. Oh, she's kind of local, kind of sorta. Ish. Mary Mary was up listening to 80s songs. <laughs> we were out someplace today for dinner, and that's all they played. We're like somebody must have got hold of the jukebox oh, yeah. and literally all they played was like bon jovi it was like 80s hair bands yeah, yeah. to a t like 80s songs and i was like okay <laughs> it just didn't match the vibe of the restaurant but it was good danny pugo that's a new face well hello Bemos mercantile hello laura linda and bud hooterville hi linda and bud he's got a heck of a beard does he my own hair is in my face i got Ooh, girl, she was looking fresh. <laughs> that is a good beard. I like it. Oh, I love her bangs, too. I'm creeping on the picture. Oh, Kelly Cat made it. Yay. Oh, I thought, I thought that was my mom. I was like, my mom made it. Oh, hi. <laughs> Kelly Cat. Oh, she she never got it. Okay, so that is Raven. Okay, I was correct. You guys are all switching your names up on me, and it's like, it's messing with me. There's a couple of different names. Oh. Vintage Thrifted Treasures. I love that name. Um, well, we've missed you guys, too. It's been so long. I'm a little nervous right now. I can't lie. You guys can probably tell. She's always nervous. Yeah. Well, at least now I don't have to edit in, like, the cricket noise when I make a really bad joke. <laughs> it's just already there. So there's that. Davila. Oh, that's a new name. Hi. Oh, she's local, too, actually. I'm pretty sure. She told me one time on Instagram about – a store uh blue ribbon vintage out in crown point that's crown point right mm -hmm. yeah the head of macrame owl and i went there and thanks to her it was there and i found it yeah oh they did have two they did yeah <laughs> glenna hi glenna she's so sweet and the owl stringer as well <laughs> oh yeah sammy's unique finds oh that's a new name hello oh so that kind of brings me to a new point i guess so since my last live i have over 200 new youtube family like i guess members <laughs> so 300. i 300 no yeah. 300 yeah really yeah. oh wow it's been a while so it's we have at least 300 new subs here so i'm very excited about that thank you everyone for tuning in todd's here howdy todd we should be at jameson's out on the patio tonight but illinois and it's lovely restrictions reversal and restrictions yeah so now we can't even eat like past 11 o'clock i think all the restaurants closed now, and the bars fun stuff yeah oh yeah thank you melissa i know raven you didn't <laughs> i feel bad <laughs> oh goodness um went to the movies today where we can't do anything 
Like anything here. Yeah, they, they are... close it like the last shows at seven o'clock. No, oh, they're back open. Yeah. Really? Oh, well, what do I? Know? And there's like limited, limited movies. They're like most of the movies are old as all hell, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this. This is very true. He's very chill, and I am excited. <laughs> Chimney Rock. That's where I want to go by Lake Lure, and we're not there like mm -hmm. we North, should North be. North Carolina. <laughs> You can drink through a hole in the mask. That's right. Very true. But they close at like 11, right? The bars and I restaurants. I believe that is the new norm, yeah. Yeah, so this is my first. Oh, well, I'm happy you joined us. That's awesome. I tend to go on for a long time, so I just cozy today. Um, Round Rock, Texas. Ooh, I'd love to be in Texas right now. Just us at 50 Plus is in Texas. Bell, it's in here. I'm going to open something from them, actually. Did you see them? Becky Partridge. Where? Her comment. They did. So I'm actually going to be opening their package. It's like right here in front of me on this live. As soon as I open a package from Just some other friends. But I kind of wanted them to be here to do it. Oh, my goodness. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Really? I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> goofy laugher. Well, thank you, Mary Mary. Her, thank you, Mary her Mary. coy fall off to the side there means she's definitely much appreciated. Yeah, I, I, it's been a very rough year, <laughs> but month, and so your donations are very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Absolutely. A ton. I hope, oh, she did get her drums. So I hope your husband loved the drums. He started playing them like. Ricky Ricardo. Yeah, Ricky Ricardo. I love that. Yep. So, thank you so much, Mary. That is very much appreciated. And stop. <laughs> I'm already blushing. Okay, so. <sighs> I, gotta, I gotta calm down. Usa. <laughs> what is what the heck is that? Usa. Say Usa. that and it calms you down. All right, I'm gonna get an extra hair scrunchie here and tie the hair back because it's about to get serious. That sounded kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna dive on in to some they're here. friend mail. Are they here? Oh, yay! Okay, so Mary Mary, she did love the drums. I hope you loved them. I was so like afraid of how I packed them because they were like two drums together. For those that don't know what we're talking about, and I didn't want them to like hit each other in the mail. Yeah, anyways, just so I'm glad out. it worked out well. I am very happy about that. And thank you so much for being so incredibly generous. <laughs> um. Oh, they are here. Just us. They, yep. Are we hearing our name? We're running around the house getting snacks. <laughs> Sounds snacks. like a mom. <laughs> snacks. <laughs> awesome. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate you. Hey, Matt. We trooped it out for a while on your live. Actually, we were in the car. We were driving back from Indiana. So you were keeping us entertained while we were in the car because they were live earlier. Um, love the basement tour. Will you ever do it more? I, I want to do one. I was hoping around 10,000 subs. <laughs> I don't think that will ever happen at this point. Nah, so, like, know. I don't know. But we have, like, a whole room makeover tour, I guess, coming up pretty soon within the next month. So that's exciting. Matt's here. Oh, yeah. The sh so Nancy was just over there. All right. Awesome. Oh, my little rock is on her desk. I painted her, but I'm like, Mm -hmm. Little forest with the elk rocks. I love that. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Oh, yay! Debbie made it. Debbie's out in North Carolina too. Oh, everyone's in such awesome places, and we're here. Except we're here. We're here with a Illinois. cricket. <laughs> with a cricket driving me dang nuts. So I already took out my hair tie. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm nervous. Okay. Hope they don't get snacks like Bunny. <laughs> She That's does. why she's not here yet. She's probably getting snacks too. My mom is definitely, she's out there getting snacks. So hi, me and Mark. Um, love the new stuff you've been finding. Thank you. I've been finding so, okay. Okay, so we are literally, this is how bad I am as a YouTuber and editing and publishing videos. We have videos filmed from May, I think. I think this one that you did, one I just put May. out, this haul is from May. Yeah, we have videos filmed from May that I still haven't posted. So. Like 12 or 13. More yeah, videos. what was the last video I posted? The last video I posted was, the most was actually the most recent filmed. <laughs> but like everything I'll be posting within the next month has already been like pre-filmed oh, yeah. 
for months prior already. So Nash- um, Nashville, Gatlinburg, the trip to get Cleo. Yeah, well, a couple of trips in that. Wisconsin. Yeah, we have. I'm the world's worst. So we have all kinds of things. But the reason I brought that up is because my tastes have like changed so much just throughout the course of the summer. It's pretty crazy. So uh, Kristen says hen tour. <laughs> yes. Everyone wants to see the hens. I don't know. I'm always like bashful about the hens. <laughs> and yes, honest to goodness. Kirk Kirk County, County is not a lie. Yeah. Oh, Oh, yay. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I'll have to find you. Cool. Tonight we are having a hand right now. <laughs> hand burning. All right. So, oh, I can see myself because he's got me down here on his phone. We don't need to see that. <laughs> so, anyways, to answer the question, I do have two awesome, actually quite large, Beautiful boxes sent to me from friends. We got the first package I'll be opening from Jim and Tammy at Just Us at 50 Plus. There you go. <laughs> is that their like PMR? <laughs> what? I don't know if it was their address or not. It is. Uh, oh, okay. Well, good, good save. So I'm going to be opening this first. And then uh, Laura and Selena sent me something from the Recycle Works. So that's super exciting as well. All right. Why well, so nervous? I don't know. It's just been so long. I feel like I haven't done a live in over a month. I think it's probably been, it's over, been month. over a month. Then. Yeah, it's been over a month. Oh, oh thank you, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> she gives me hope and inspiration to feel less like I'm just blabbering on, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much, Mary Mary. I appreciate that. Um, Oh, thrifting color on Instagram. Okay. Oh, yeah. You just um, liked a whole bunch of my photos. I appreciate that. I hope that Brad doesn't read from the book. Oh, he's going to read from nah. the book. <laughs> I can see the book. I see right the book from too. Here. <laughs> Slim pickings and expensive. Oh, where are you at? Oh. Texas, I think she said. Oh, yeah. Round Top, Texas. But we're family. Oh. She changed her name too. What was her name before? It was Raven. No. The 505 Raven. From, no, not Raven. From Round Top, Texas. I don't know. That's why I said everyone's like switching up their names. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all are trying to confuse me. <laughs> but y'all are going to need a sharp tool to open that. Okay. That's We're what she need... calls me sometimes. Nah, just take out <laughs> the sharp. <laughs> I'm so mean. Jokes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're gonna open the first one. Oh, look how cute this is! Like, I just if love it's that. anything like the last one, they taped the heck out of it. Yeah, did they? Oh, right, yeah. I'm gonna leave it to him. Me? I'm gonna leave it to him because me and sharp objects shouldn't be trusted. <laughs> this is true. Oh. Oh, Mignon's here. Hi, Mignon. Hello. They stopped doing housewares. That's like the best part of the bin. So what do they have? I'd cry. Yeah, all clothes and shoes and books. (laughs) The shoes part of our bins is pretty depressing. There's a lot of them. It's just they're kind of gross, I guess. Yeah, if they they took out the housewares, I mean, name change, new YouTube. Okay. Ah. Oh, I didn't know you had a YouTube before. Okay, well, I'll have to check you out. Open here. <laughs> Open here. <laughs> I'm very excited. I am very excited. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm just going to go over here and... <laughs> Cut towards your thumb, not your chum. You see. What the heck is a chum? I think it's your buddy. Um, so it's cut towards yourself instead of cutting towards somebody else. You know? All right, it's for you, so you do the honors at this point. All right. I was being a uh, on this. <laughs> All right, aw. I'm so excited. So I, I have seen a picture of this. It says, read. Oh, okay. Oh, we got something good. Read during the live. Okay, <laughs> they they well. know too well now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm always like, I don't know. Should I read it? Could I? All right. And I'm such a bad reader. Why are you so serious? What, what I'm just reading what Matt wrote there. Oh, really? Oh, well, you were a discussion on our channel live stream. We were telling everyone about you and they need to come over and enjoy. 
Oh yeah, but my taste changed with like the direction of the wind. Like, Absolutely. Like hens, the uh, owls, brass, steins. I mean, there's just no rhyme or reason to the things I collect, depending she, on the week. She just walks right <laughs> past the hens now. It's like. <laughs> well, I collected so many. You that have I, them all. Yeah, I have all the ones that I see, so it's not fun anymore. <laughs> Unless I come across one that I don't have, then I'm like, I'll buy it. But I have all the ones in my house. So anyways, read during the live. Ashley and Brett, the fact that you are reading this now means that you were able to successfully cut through all of the paper, tape, and bubble wrap. I commend you both, both, <laughs> for your efforts. This is Jimmy, the other half of Just Us at 50 Plus. Tammy doesn't know that this note made it into the package, but she's about to find out, isn't she? Oh, I love that. I always miss the live videos because I'm always asleep, but not this time. No way, no how. <laughs> I am crashing this party. I just want to say hello and thank you both for doing what you do and for letting us tag along. It means a lot. Tammy, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> okay, carry on. Aw, that was awesome. That's cute. Aww, that's adorable, <laughs> that actually. That was nice. Take notes. <laughs> Aw, so, okay, so this must be from Tammy. Hi, Ashley. You're just absolutely amazing. The sign is our way of saying thank you for bringing tons of joy into our lives. Aw. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I'm going to keep these and like, I always keep everything everybody sends me. <laughs> I'm just a little hoarder like that. What well, hello, think? Scott and Michelle. How are you? Oh, they were on um, Matt's live earlier. Scott and Michelle. Oh, hello. Hi. Thank you for joining. She must have heard. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> you guys are so fun. I love watching y'all. I really do. Mary Mary says, what does Avery like? Herself at the moment. <laughs> that kid is five going on 16. I swear she does not like to make my life easy. She likes to defy. That's what she likes to do. <laughs> she likes to defy and challenge. But she's incredibly smart. And I think that's probably where we struggle. She's very smart, always questioning authority, I guess, which is common for a toddler. But she likes hermit crabs. <laughs> she loves dogs and cats and animals in general. But yeah, tarantulas, <laughs> Kristen knows. So it's funny because for those of you that are new and haven't heard the story, oh, we got 100 people watching. Oh my gosh, and I'm still nervous and shaking. My anxiety is like so bad right now. But so last Christmas, <laughs> I took her to see Santa at the mall and this we had her dressed up so cute in this awesome little adorable dress and a bow in her hair and the tights and the whole get up she looked adorable this adorable little girl walks up to Santa he's like and what would you like for Christmas that's his accent of course <laughs> I just gave him and she's like a tarantula it's like okay <laughs> yep so that is my kid my mom's in the house okay oh <laughs> What's in the glasses? I don't know. Orange something. juice. Orange juice, yeah. Orange juice. I'll have her home by midnight, man. <laughs> Take a margarita mix of some sort. I don't know. Something tasty. Does she like books bought some for her? She does. We read The Lorax by Dr. Seuss last night, and she loves that movie. So she does like to have books read to her, but she's a little difficult about wanting to read them herself right now. Very defiant. Glad you can make it. Yes, thank you for joining me. I'm good with dudes, probably. I wish they would. She they need to give me there. like, honestly, oh, look at my mom, getting all the love, everyone's saying hi. Um, I would love just like a $50 gift card from Goodwill, something. I spent so much money there. I feel like, just, you know, a little small something. <laughs> Anyways, okay. All right. Jim and Tammy are like, just... Over the damn thing. <laughs> Quit rambling. All right. So here we go. I'm very excited. Crinkle, crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle. All right. You got the paper. Oh, my God. This is so stinking cute. Okay. I guess oh, wow. I'll show you guys. Oh, this is adorable. Can you see it? Oh. That's awesome. It's gonna take Brett's head out with it. Oh, that move is your, move so your hand cool. so you can see the cutouts. Yeah, it's got like puzzle cutouts. That is incredible. Oh, guys, 
So they do wood burning and a bunch of handcrafted things. Is it showing? Yeah. Do I look just crazy? Because here's me trying yep. to <laughs> they, <laughs> they make these themselves. Thank you so much. Oh, it's even got the little rose on it, the leaves. And you know what they didn't forget? The little the thing above the E. That's Everyone right. always leaves out. The accent mark. <laughs> I love that so much. Aw. So Brett actually got one. You want to grab it? Brett got one from them. I have a little cord over here. I'm gonna here. Give you guys a real good look. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this so much. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are too sweet, stuff. Oh, we could probably like hang it on the wall back there somehow. And then Brett got this from them about a month ago or so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Not that you like Harley or nothing, you know, mm -hmm. as you're wearing a Harley shirt. Mm -hmm. No, they do. So Jim, yeah, Jim does amazing work. Wow. So they do a whole bunch of crafts. If you go to their channel, they have just some glimpses into all the things they make. So they have a lot of really cool talents. And did I see another super? Oh, thank you, Mary Mary up there. She just loves to sprinkle love throughout the videos, and I appreciate that. Love and so generosity. Much. She really does. I appreciate that so much. And Diana, hi. Hey. Um, your what basket. You yes, your basket is on its way to you. I shipped that out just the other day. So let, let me click up on the comments real quick. I'm lost. Okay. Uh, so he's been in a couple of my videos. He says gorgeous. Of course, he's talking about the sign. Not me. <laughs> it is. It's beautiful. Thank you, guys. Aw. I love that. How do you guys do this? I'm just, that's crazy. Looking at it, like, how the heck? She's got a steady hand. Yeah, that's awesome. I really do love and appreciate this. Thank you, guys, very, very much. It is very awesome. Very gorgeous. Aw. <laughs> I I do. I don't like it. I love it. Mom says, hi there. Aww. A labor of love. Hi, yeah. yeah, I could imagine that. Oh, Mike joins us. <laughs> Not even what that would. Um, what are your thrifting and and ooh, that's a good question. Well, I think <laughs> we're taking the weekend off. In a perfect world. <laughs> for bread. <laughs> no, I don't know. Angola. We should totally go to Angola. We're thinking about going to Kenosha. Kenosha? Well, they're doing a bunch of rioting there right now, so I don't know if that would be the best place to go to. Yeah, it, was a, it was a joke. Well, the thing, the sad thing is There's, we were in Wisconsin. The day that it happened. The day that it happened. Had no idea. Like, all the controversy that's we happening were, there like, right now. We were, like, the next town over the day that everything happened. We were literally, yeah, right there. We had no idea. Sorry, I'm, I'm messing with my hair, but I gotta like find my happy place with it, and then land shark I can stop pickers with here. It. Land shark pickers here. Well, hello, hi there. That's a new name. Hi. Um, no, we were in Lake Geneva last weekend. We were in Salem, which is all kind of like right around the Kenosha area, right for all the controversy. We had no idea anything happened, and then I got home and we saw it like on, I guess, Facebook or something. Mm -hmm. And now it's just a big old hot mess. So mm -hmm. I wanted to go back to Kenosha to an antique mall that I showed you guys in a couple of vlogs ago. And everyone told me to go back because I only was there for like a half hour and I left with so many awesome things. But it's, I don't, I don't think we'll be able to go there. Right I don't think now. It, it's probably not the best idea right this moment. I mean, it might be interesting, but not in the best. Oh, she days. got it today. Oh, did she? Oh, really? That was so quick. That was like within two days? Two days. A day. Two days. Aw. Yeah, he did. I didn't he did. To find that. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing is, it's in a vlog we haven't posted yet. <laughs> so we were just saying earlier in this live stream that we have videos from May. I think we bought that in May. That's when we went to Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh, that was at the guy's shop April, who was like closing May, out. It was May. Yeah, it was May. May. Yeah. So. In Sheboygan. Sheboygan. Yeah, I came from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Uh -huh. Love your dirty jokes. That's what <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm going to try not to change. The Hager Panther. I have. It is. Which one? Which one? Well, 
You just got the other one. I didn't. Wait, how'd she know about the Hager Panther? I don't know. That's, uh, that's actually pretty. Wait, did I show the Hager Panther? Is she on your Instagram? Oh, she, yeah, that's Gigi. Valley Cat. So maybe. I don't know. Did you put it on your Instagram? Yeah, I, I don't know. But I, <laughs> I update my stories all the time. But So I found this awesome Hager Panther. 24 inch. 24 inch Hager mm -hmm. Panther at the flea market last Sunday for how much did I pay? 15 or 10 and then five for ten. The dolls for 10 bucks. So which is a steal. Yes. Yeah. I want to sell it. It's already listed on Facebook marketplace for like no bites though. So I, I might have to throw it online. I just, I didn't want to do the shipping because I'm terrified of shipping fragiles, but I will list it if you would like it or you can just message me about it. That works too. Sad time here in Wisconsin. Yes. Yep. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, Alabama. Oh, I used to live in Cleveland, Tennessee. I drove to Alabama one time to get a dog for my grandma <laughs> with my mom. Where is my mom? Here's my mom. <laughs> yeah, we drove to some crazy place in Illinois for a dog. Sending Avery some awesome books. Some are from the early 60s, actually. Oh, yay. <laughs> so <laughs> they're super old. I don't want to sell them. No, they're for her. <laughs> Um, well, I'm sure she'll love them. She definitely loves books. She just won't read them on her own right now. Uh, yeah, thank you, Jim and Tammy, so much. I'm going to show it again really quick. Mom, did you see the sign? Oh, yes. Love y'all. And I love that <laughs> note that he snuck in. That was yeah, so cute. Sweet, yeah. Jim, that was adorable. Tammy, you guys are too cute. So, Mom, this is for my mom. Really <laughs> Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? There's your. Oh, I just see Brett's. Big old head in the way. <laughs> There's my what? Uh, oh no! Wait, oh. Is it, wait, where, oh, Dallas City Vintage. Oh, hey Jay. Hi. He did. He made it. Hello. Happy to have you. I'm just being nervous on camera. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, Richmond, Virginia. I've heard Virginia is like amazing for antiques. I don't ever plan on going to Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia? Mm. I don't know. Mm. But I think I always consider them like the same thing. Well, is West Virginia the state or is it the west part of the state of Virginia? I guess it depends on context. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're so lame. Anyways, um, I just bought a Black Panther 2 and again now there's no marking, so no. Oh whoa. Yeah, I'm going to be listing mine, I guess, because I wanted to sell it on Facebook Marketplace just because if I could not ship glass, then I would love to do that. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's literally 24 That's inches. Right. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Oh, you guys are. Really quick, I'm just going to insert in here a little shout out to Just Us, Vicky Plus, Jim and Tammy. I have a really nice little channel. So if you haven't already checked them out, you totally should do that. And where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm going to shout out Jay too, Dallas City Vintage. He has a very kind of the same taste on his channel as well. So it's good times. He actually just did a vlog where he got kicked out of an antique mall. For filming. For filming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I had to kind of sadly relate because back in the spring, I was filming a vlog that never made it to YouTube. <laughs> but... I got kicked out of a place because they told me I was casing the place. I was like. She looks like a burglar. Totally. And the funny thing is, I wish I had a picture of me from this day. I had on this platinum blonde like wig with the curls. And I just, I was wearing a pink scarf, a pink jacket. I was like all dolled up. Like I was not even like, you know, looking some type of way. I, I don't know. I was looking a little over the top of anything, but. They told me to stop filming, and I was like, okay. Peace out. All right, peace. Deuce. <laughs> so, anyway, Jay's a really nice guy. If you guys want to hop over, show your support, and comment, tell him actually said hello. And I just think that's a nice idea. So, yeah, it's good. <laughs> your kitchen ever get dealt with? My mom, my, what is that? Oh, okay, just. What's PN? Pennsylvania, Vermont, New Hampshire. Massachusetts, Maryland, and Rhode Island. I want to go to Rhode Island and Vermont and Maryland. I want to go to all the states. Oh, Don made it. Hi, Don. Just what is my mom talking about? Just an adventure. To go get the puppy. 
for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just had me put down like last year too. He oh. lived a long time since like I was in high school. Hey, Don. Hi, Don. Uh, Pam said, "Do you sell on eBay or Etsy?" Okay, so that's I have exciting news, but I don't want to reveal it just yet. But at the moment, I do have an eBay shop. I'm not super active on there unless it's like a like a market I feel is more fit for eBay. I sell online on Instagram at Honey Blossom Vintage, but I don't I don't, don't want to say it yet. I have exciting things coming where you can buy things. New more, platforms. New platforms, yeah. So I will list that. I don't know if I'm going to in this live or soon, but it's, keep them hanging. Keep them hanging. <laughs> but it's really exciting, and I think a lot of you will like it a lot more than Instagram, a lot more than eBay. I don't personally like eBay, so it's really exciting. You heard it here first <laughs> with 110 people watching. Yeah. Mary, Mary just <laughs> dropped you another generosity bomb. Did you? Where? Oh, I'm so up here on comment. Right oh, there. thank you, Mary. She does. She just sprinkles a little love through on it. I love that. She reminds me of that quote. It's like sprinkle kindness like confetti. I love that quote. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary Mary. You are so sweet. Thank you. Oh, I really do appreciate that. I, I really do. So thank you. It's been a month, to say the least. It's it's been an interesting it's one. It's been a 2020. It's been a jobless year. <laughs> Just bad. Um, do tell. I need somewhere else to sell. I, I will tell soon. I It's in the works. I am a perfectionist, but so far I really like what I have, and it's it's come along really nice. So you guys will be updated super soon. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> LaVon. Well, hi, LaVon. Antique Emporium has lots of morning shadow boxes they have very neat to look at. So she's up in Wisconsin, I think. Mm -hmm. She's been in one of my favorite stores ever, the Schoolhouse Mall up in... Hickston? Hickston. Sturtevant? No, 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 no. That's not one of my favorite malls. Oh, I like it. It's a that's, different schoolhouse mall. Yeah, there's a lot of schoolhouse malls, yeah. actually. But Hickston, she's been there. She's got a nice little channel, too, guys. If you want to go check her out, she's very sweet. You need a new platform. Whoop, why can't I? I'm not click on it. Not PayPal or eBay. You guys will like what I have coming up. <laughs> it does. eBay's too much. It's just too much of the fees. Fading fast. Oh, she's falling asleep. Oh. We're losing Robin. Um, oh, hi, Robin. Yay. Have you guys ever been to Have we? Mm -hmm. No, I've never been to Iowa. Wait, yes, I have. But I've never been to LeClaire. No, that's. Isn't it, is there one in Davenport, too? Or is that where there's. Maybe there's shops in Davenport? I don't know. Something. No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen knows me way too well. Ding, 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 I overthink. Ding, ding. And I'm OCD, and it all has to be perfect before I can reveal it. And mm -hmm. it's just that's that's the way of the land over here. <laughs> um, what is that bonanza? The show? No, I think maybe that's another platform she's talking about. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do bonanza. No, I think no, no, I'm not gonna do bonanza. Um, they have one in Nashville. Oh, we were there in May. While it was closed out. Yeah, so we didn't get to see it. I actually have, okay, I'm going to really try to get this dang vlog out. From Nashville. From Nashville within mm. two weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> you left. Like instantly, F you. <laughs> it was only filmed like three months ago, okay? I just Give me some I time. Just, I just <laughs> get out of here. Like, within the next two weeks. <laughs> Well, I, I kind of no wanted, pressure. <laughs> I kind of wanted to put Wisconsin first, but theoretically, I should do Nashville, Wisconsin, and then Gatlinburg. Chop up Tennessee. Yeah, there's yeah. just twelve or thirteen. <laughs> I hate me. I hate me. <laughs> See, my mom knows me too. I gotta overthink and stress and torture myself all the time. So that's what I do. Yeah, Don. I would guarantee their store is massively overpriced. See, eBay does. It takes up way too no, much. No, I'm talking about the American Picker store. Guarantee that American Picker store is massive. I could only imagine. And people pay it, though, because they just want a piece of that store. That's all. Well, yes, definitely. Uh, I think it would be cool to look at. I don't think they probably would have too much stuff that I would want to buy. They mainly deal with, like, bigger, like, signs and stuff. I don't mm -hmm. know. 
Amboy. I don't know. I've never heard of Amboy, actually. Ooh, okay. We will have to add that to the list because we're not that far from Iowa, actually. Like three four hours. hours. I said three. Three okay. to three to four hours. Three hour drive. So With their prices are crazy. Tour. So we should <laughs> see around this summer. Yep. I'm really going to try. Like by the end of September, latest. I'm going to try to have this video. Okay, that's four weeks. You went from two weeks to four <laughs> I'm weeks. I'm just so. giving myself some elbow room, okay? Some little, like, cushion, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes. <laughs> that's my problem. I film so much, but then I shop, and I just I can't stop. So that's me. Oh, hi, Kim. She's so sweet. Dana Bark says, Dorothy, do you resell? I'm going to grab some chapstick really quick because it's driving me insane. And then we're gonna get to the next package. So give me one second. My mom's gonna go get some snacks and disappear forever, probably. <laughs> Do you wanna read from the book? No. Nope. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll literally be like two seconds. You can answer all the things. What am I answering? Um, did you ever get to it? I we don't have one in my area that I can find. Maybe downtown Chicago has one. What possibly a Habitat for Humanity? All I know there's, is there's some around. Yeah. I had to do an essay on Habitat for Humanity in I think it was eighth grade, and I my, my best friend at the time she hated doing homework, so I wound up writing two. Essays on Habitat for Humanity and aced them both. <laughs> humble brag. So, yeah, humble brags about my eighth grade uh, essay skills. He yeah, Bunny, that's humanity. right. The Heights does have a habitat, habitat for Humanity. Does it? Yeah. No, it's closed down. I've driven by it like a thousand times. It's never on Joel open. Road? It's never open. On Joel Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right by that old that bar used to be there, Esoteric? Yeah, it's never open. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I'm <laughs> No book. No book. Oh, okay. Drum run. Drum day. Check it out, guys. Putnam? Mm -hmm. They can't see. It's too shiny. This is Colonel Israel Putnam. He was... A decorated Revolutionary War colonel. And this picture is hand drawn by one of his family members, signed on the back. Could be worth billions of dollars or 10. We're not sure. We're not really sure. <laughs> All right, hashtag non sponsored by, but I'm addicted to chapstick. To Brett's Bees. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that sounded really gross. What? <laughs> Brett's Bees. Why is that gross? Oh. Just smeared on. I can't. I got lipstick on. Judy stole my book, Jesus Calling. What are we talking about? My mom's donated it. Look at my mom just proving me wrong. So they're open? Well, I guess they're just always out of business hours when I drive by. Well, I mean, you probably don't get there till five or later. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> F all of you. <laughs> you guys <gotta> are mean. <laughs> you and my mom both. <laughs> Aw. Aw, well, thank you. Hi, Katrina. She always leaves such sweet com comments on my videos. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's Canadian that. dollars. Yeah. She's, we're from, in she's from Canada. Canada. She always leaves the nicest comments. Where in Canada are you? Brett was there for eight years up in Ontario. Yeah, just north of Toronto. I can't even cross the border because this girl doesn't know how to fill out a passport form. So... I'm just lazy. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks. What do you mean? <laughs> That's how long it takes? What is this? You got like my makeup all over your shirt. Don't mind me. All right. Stop. Uh, uh, 10 to 5 p.m. 10 a.m. is a little too early. 5 p.m. I'm just getting, you know, going for the day. No, I'm joking. Um, wait, where am I? Oh, I thought my mom said something. Okay, never mind. All right. I'm tripping. Eighth grade is no doubt. Thank you, Don. See, she recognizes that was some tough years in my life. Eighth grade? Yes. I had one. No. My mom will tell you. She's here. She's listening. My meanest teacher ever was my fifth grade teacher. 
Ooh. My mom got into it with Ooh. her during the parent teacher conference. My meeting. meanest teacher ever was my kindergarten teacher. <laughs> really? That's supposed to be like your happiest. That B. That B. She took that away. Bee. She took away my Matchbox cars on the first day of kindergarten. That B. And never gave them back. <laughs> that B. Never. And she I remember flipped her. them and sold them online. I remember her still to this day. She did not give my Matchbox cars back the entire year. You and she took them on the first day of school. And it all went downhill from there, folks. <laughs> Her name is Miss Wagner. My That's mom says, what am I, a cat? Because I keep playing with this hair, but it's so soft. You just don't understand. <laughs> like, I like it. <laughs> but my mom can tell you that my meanest teacher ever had, like, okay, she had this really weird thing where we had to write in cursive, which is fine. That's fine. But she'd, like, literally yell at you. If you didn't get your cursive like perfect and she like believed in homework like to the full extent of like you would just have like every like every night you'd have hours of homework to do so my mom hated her and i hated mm -hmm. her i had passed over 10 years never needed it because i only traveled with him yes yeah, see that's me at the moment and right now i can't really go anywhere <laughs> so i'm just taking a second to really aw. So up here, you guys can't see it, but on my screen, I can see all the like super chats people have left. And already, we are only 40, oh, wow, already 40, 40 minutes, minutes and we haven't even gotten to the thrift haul yet. Um, but so many people have already donated. I just want to thank you guys again. Mary Mary and Katrina, you guys are very much appreciated. So thank you. Mignon, see, that's first day of kindergarten. It was no fun. Wait, wait, wait. Right, I got to find right the there, comment. Right wait, wait, wait. Oh. oh. My first day of kindergarten is forced to stay. What? Why? Mean old kindergarten teachers. Let me tell you, they have these. They have senior superiority complexes. Those. Kindergarten teachers. Yes. Something about kindergarten. <laughs> Something about them kindergarten <laughs> teachers. Oh, see, my mom can back me up. Made your mom do homework every night. Yeah, because it wasn't just like my fifth grade teacher I didn't want you. No, no, no. She didn't do my homework. It was like for you to go home with your. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> so um like they she sent home homework for <laughs> you to do with your parents yeah. and it was just like parents work they don't want to deal with your homework too like you know, it's, it's a big hot mess. <laughs> ashley's mom dancing night away with you the night. yes <laughs> teacher in first grade took my crayons mom. oops you were there <laughs> Yes, <laughs> <laughs> my mom. My teacher in first grade took my crayons, and I grew up to be an art teacher. See, you Maybe showed her. Yeah, high school. I've had some mean teachers. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't just my fifth grade teacher, but my fifth grade teacher, she was cutthroat. She wasn't playing around. My mom goes, "Oops, you were there, mom. You were just living your best life." I never showed the video, only to my dearest friends. Well, Diana was in the. She was there at the bar that night. <laughs> I had it up for like three hours on my story <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I was like, the lucky people that see this in three hours are the lucky winners. So it was only up for three hours. <laughs> uh, Todd said my kindergarten teacher told my parents in front of me that I would never amount to anything because I refused to go <laughs> inside the lines. <laughs> oh, look at you now. Well, look at you now. <laughs> I was so OCD as a child. I had to color inside the lines. As a child? <laughs> what about today? Smack him. Just choke him out. <laughs> Big trouble if you did. I would never, Mom. <laughs> you guys want to get out and make money? You got to make <laughs> You got to <laughs> 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 You can't come with me anymore, my mom said. <laughs> mom, those were, that was a good night. And well, technically, I can't come with you anymore because the bars are closed at 11 now. <laughs> Raven said, I She was, had that Pulp Fiction vibe going in. She was, it was happening. Raven said, I was a really unhappy kid. No, I was a pretty miserable high schooler. I was a super nerd in middle school. I think I was a normal kid, super nerd in middle school. And then high school, I was just mad at the world because that's what high schoolers do, okay? So, <laughs> Jan Francis even told them they didn't want to end up being a garden. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Actually, that's it. We need those mean teachers back. That's true, too. That is true. 
kids these days got it too easy. Mom, it literally isn't that bad. Like you were literally just dancing Stratton. to WAP. <laughs> yep. Dancing to WAP. No. ACDC, you know, it's just good times. Danielle from American Pickers buys vintage clothes and beaded handbags. Oh, is she really a burlesque dancer? I can totally see that. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Did they did ask where I was? Oh, tonight? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably bored without you yeah, up at the bar. <laughs> they were looking for entertainment. <laughs> my mom is fun. We're really hoping soon. I know I keep playing with my hair, you guys, but you don't understand. A fresh new do <laughs> is so soft. I can't stop. It's it's nice. But um, my mom, Brett, and I, we are hoping to do a vlog together soon. How exciting would that be? Shopping with me and my mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like on the spot, like, shoot me. Uh, blue collar worker and make a good living. Absolutely. And Danielle is a really nice person. Really? Oh, you met her? Oh, that's awesome. She stuck around. Is she still, do they still work together? So. Does she work at the Nashville location? Uh, I don't know. I think she was out of Iowa as well. She, oh, maybe she's she, she might have branched off and doing something else for them now, but that's what I'm saying. Yes, they did. Yes, who did? Who did what? Oh, they messaged you. If I could just get my hair to stay like this, I think it's because I don't want it on both sides of my face. Right there. It's just a nervous. <laughs> it's just a nervous switch. It's not stop. though. It's like I can't stop because I just I keep playing with it. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my famous double just hot mess and uh, there now i'm just Perfect. a big hot mess brett would need a safe word when shopping with the daily <laughs> he'd be like he's shoot out me. <laughs> shoot me i'll be uh, on the trip melissa said uh danielle works in iowa okay mm, that's what i thought oh well shit. So, so which store came first iowa, iowa. oh well, who, what do i know uh well, thank you guys for having us. I don't know. I get really nervous after a while of not doing them. Like, I was just starting to get, like, in my routine doing them with you. And then for some reason, I just stopped. And it took me a lot of guts to get back on tonight and do one. I was cranky all day today. I can't lie. So, Kristen knows. I was I was feeling cranky. Diana, I got, I got you. <laughs> She's grounded now. Uh, you should see. Oh, I want to see. I do. You need a cat to cat. I do. We have like. <laughs> no, I don't. You are a grown man. Get out of here. Uh, oh, well, thank you. I again want to like keep pointing people into. It's left to right, left to right, to Jim and Tammy's channel because I like good people. I like nice people. And honestly, YouTube needs nicer people, so that's why I would like to point yeah, out Jim and Tammy here. I'm trying to like share the icon. Did you spill on yourself? Mm -hmm. This man. Brett's safe word mouth is. There you go. If you can say that perfectly, you're excused from me. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm screwed. That's just it. See? So anyways, okay, I, I know how to go off. Yeah, it's like an hour. Yeah, we're an hour into it, and I've opened a box. <laughs> <laughs> and your mouth. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You're a meanie. <laughs> well then. <laughs> All right, so exciting stuff. All right. Let me just All right. skedaddle. Drum roll, please. Brett's going to entertain. Ready? That's probably just really weird. All right, you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> All right. So again, I apologize about the cricket in the room, but they probably right, don't is... hear it. Does anybody actually hear the cricket? We're gonna be quiet. Do you hear this cricket? All right, I'm gonna be quiet. It stopped. <laughs> That's not even fair. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. That's funny. You guys can totally hear it. Nope. Nobody hears it. Oh, Melissa hears Melissa, it. Yes. All right, I'm, I want to see what a few more people say. <laughs> I would never be mean to her. Dorothy does not hear the cricket. I swear to God, it's so loud. Like, this cricket is obnoxious, and it's just, it's... Here. And it's, it's been two days, too. 
straight. It's yeah, we were watching a movie down here last night and literally I was like, is that outside or inside this room? Because it's driving me nuts. And no, it's in the room. Yeah, some people hear, some don't. Um, so Jay is lucky he doesn't hear the cricket. <laughs> so Jim and Tammy, it's probably driving them nuts. So what did my mom say? She's laughing about Vegas bombs. Oh, it was the Vegas moms. The Vegas bomb. Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. Dragons. <laughs> but where is Vintage Forest Finds? Oh, is that them? Who commented earlier? Forest yeah. Finds? Lauren. No. The girl from Toe? All right. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Cheeseburger. Did you just change your name? Weren't you Danny Puko? Wait, who yeah, is this? Yeah, that was Danny Can hear Pugo. it, but it's not distracting. Okay, good. All right. As long, I'm sorry. There's Literally, if I could do something about this cricket, I would, but I can't. <laughs> so... Um, some people can be deaf to high pitched sounds. Well, fortunately for the deaf there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you don't have All to right. get his cricket. Open this box. Hang on, wait, 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 Vegas. Super. Mary Mary said, then I told you my daughter was born in 87. Not sure about your upbringing, but my son in 94, both at the house. Oh my gosh. So you got an empty nest now. Ooh. Wow. Big <laughs> my mom, she's off in her own world today. I mom, guess the, only, what, the difference about? is how many you had, bunny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next package before we get into the Goodwill bins thrift haul, because this is technically what this was supposed to be, but it turns into an interactive chat, and I like it that way. So we have this beautiful package here, this beautifully decorated package. <laughs> From the wonderful ladies of the Recycled Life, both Laura and Selena, I was actually like shook it. That's totally the word I just used. One day in one of their videos, they were out yard selling, and I think it was Laura saw this huge thing, you know, at a yard sale, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, Ashley would love that!" So Ashley they got it for things. me. <laughs> so they got it for me and this is gonna be my first time seeing it so I, I there's no way in hell that they're watching this but let it be known I appreciate them thinking of me and I'm very happy of that it's very I'm very sweet so thank you look at me a big girl opening my own package and I didn't I didn't cut I got myself. a first aid kit handy <laughs> yeah Aww. Oh, it's a, oh, he's a big one. Oh, he's a big one. I am. Ooh, All right, you got to help me on our Oh, I just want to make sure there's nothing in there. Oh. oh, oh holy oh, moly. Oh, holy moly. Holy moly. Oh, oh, this. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got the cool eyes. Heck yes. Don't let me put this back on. <laughs> the grand reveal. Oh. Okay, so how many of you actually watched the vlog where they showed this? What is this part? I think he's just got some fancy decorations. Maybe this is how you hang them up. Oh, yeah, that's, how, that's totally it. Yeah. yeah. Look at Brett and his logic all the time, always. I got to live with it. All right, Brett's going to hold it up because you just shed all over me. Oh, it's actually big, and I love this branch. Oh, and look at his... I love his eyes. Aw, thank you, ladies. Ooh, he, he's definitely side-eyeing Brett. He's giving Brett the evil eye. Aw, this is big. I love this. Aw. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm reading the comments really quick. That is one. That's so sweet. It was very sweet, yes. Booty. Did you say, no, put him on that. He's going to join us on the couch. Oh, no, no, here. Oh, yes, sir. Here. If the music is right. You don't want to put the, oh, there he goes. Aw. Oh, he's even got lashes, but it's kind of hard to see. But You're he's just going to be out. chilling here. <laughs> there we go. Aw, well, thank you, ladies. They'll probably never see this or watch this, but know that I... Really do appreciate you thinking of me, and I completely love the owl, and he's going to go on my macrame owl wall, gallery <laughs> wall. Listen, so that's one big hooter. That's <laughs> one big pair of hooters you got there. Got a boogie. <laughs> oh, my mom was dancing. Aw. 
Do people remember? Uh, Kim remembered from the episode. Yeah, he, uh, it is a pretty impressive owl. Pretty dang impressive guy, you know what I'm saying? So, oh yay. Happy days. <laughs> so thank you guys. Um, and thank you again, Jim and Tammy, also for your beautiful sign. Where'd you put my sign? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Aw, you guys are all very sweet. Already, we're just an hour into this and so much love between these super chats, the owl, the beautiful sign, the good conversation. It's a good time. Girl, you just need like the big lashes to make it dramatic like that. Can we talk about this highlighter? It'd be popping though. <laughs> I love this highlighter. Can you see it? Your cheeks look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you're in big trouble, Missy Ashley. Why? Because everybody loves your moves? Don't be mad at me. <laughs> did you show Brett the pic I sent from the doctor's office today? She did not show me, but she told me. I did tell him about it. I'll do it real quick. So Mike over here saw a huge macrame wall hanging at his eye doctor today. I'll show Brett first. Wow, look at that. That's actually humongous. Like, it's, pre it's pretty large and in charge. What is it, then? It's just a macrame wall hanging. Something. There's a bunch of, I don't know, a bunch of stuff right there. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Aw. Mary, Mary. Sprinkling more confetti. <laughs> You're sprinkling the love. Thank you so much. You are too sweet, really. I, I always get really emotional, like, after the lives, too. I'll be like, like, once it's all quiet and a camera and the lights are off and we're just sitting, like, you're talking about, like, kind of reflecting on what happened, I'll be like, that was wild. Like, that was a good experience, so. She might drop a tear. I've dropped a few, yeah. <laughs> I don't like to admit it. I like to pretend <laughs> that my heart is locked away in a vault somewhere. But secretly, it's not. It is. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, though, for real. Um, I really do appreciate everybody here. I will say that owl he was shedding. is shedding. He is shedding. Like crazy. Oh, I'll show everyone my shirt real quick because i got to get up anyway to brush myself off. But check this out. Mike, I figured you might appreciate this. It says Area 51 Hotel and Casino. It doesn't exist, and I wasn't there. And then it's just got some like alien graphics. And I bought this off of eBay last year, I think. I was going through a huge vintage t shirt craze, and I love aliens. I love Bigfoot. I love the Loch Ness Monster. I love all this like paranormal and mythological stuff that I never really talk about, but I, I do love it. So I bought this, and I was like, Hell yeah. <laughs> so now I wore it tonight. <laughs> and that is one good way to sum me up. <laughs> so oh, thank you, Diane. I do love this highlighter. I love it a lot. So I, they just finally got it back in stock at Sephora. And so I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> um, to see two of my favorite YouTube personalities. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, that's a pretty name. I like that. Well, I didn't even, I've never considered myself a YouTube personality. Well, guess what, sir? <laughs> I think I'm, I'm just a guest, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> this, this Brett, this is how, that's just how I know. Featuring saying. Brett. <laughs> and then the Mothman. Oh, my gosh. There was a movie about the Mothman. Don't tell me it was just called the Moth Mothman. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Mothman Prophecies? Yes. That was it. It was weird. It was weird. Yeah. She loves all that stuff, oh, but she won't co-host. And I don't, I just don't have the time to dedicate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bigfoot is my soulmate. <laughs> Brett is Ashley's co-host. Yeah. Kind of. I guess so. <laughs> all right. Well, before I get too rambling, I guess, okay. So we have two big bins full. From the bins. From the Goodwill Outlet bins. Ooh, chupacabras. Yes. I love all that kind of stuff. All right, quick poll because I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> Shut. All right, before we dive into the Goodwill bins, we have a very important question. I I don't know. I just want to know what people think. All right, do you believe in aliens? And it doesn't. I'm talking about the sophisticated kind, not like the micro 
microscopic little life forms in the frozen waters of Jupiter's moons. I'm talking about intelligent life forms in other solar systems. Do you believe in them? Comment. Tell me about it because I don't know. I just think the world, the universe, I mean, is just too vast. Too vast. Ooh, look at us. Yes. Finishing each other's sandwiches. I think it's too vast. Finishing each other's sandwiches. <laughs> that too. I just think it's too vast. There's no way we can only be the only ones. That would just be crazy to think. So let's see what the majority of the vote says. Val says yes. Mike says he will not refuse. Melissa says yes. Brianna says not sure. Dorothy says absolutely. Quick hug to Raven. Uh oh, what happened, to Raven? Did I miss it? Where'd you go? I think she's okay. I don't know. I, didn't, I, I don't see her. No way too far. Back. I did. When, um, for me and I like the little thing. <laughs> for me and Black. Black. Yeah. Um, Sally said yes. Okay. Ooh. I live in New Mexico, and that would be a big fat No, so she does not. So she's by Roswell and all that, and she does not believe in the aliens. I mean, I don't think, I'm not asking if you think they visited Earth, but like out there somewhere, you know? Because I don't know, I just think it's, we're too big. Like, I know the cricket is annoying. He's so agitating. That's why I, I'm just trying to talk a whole bunch to do you guys a favor, cover up his. <laughs> Okay, I nice just, try. Yeah, I just talk too much in general. It is. I'm so sorry. I, I feel really, really bad. Yes, they exist. I've seen them at 7 Eleven at 3 a.m. People were saying, run. They'd be at Speedway every damn night. <laughs> that cricket is loud. I feel bad. I think the majority here is yes. My personal opinion is I don't know. Until I know. Oh my God. I think there's a possibility. This man and his I'm a realist. I'm thing. a realist. All right, I'm just going to pretty my hair. All right. So my mom says I'm touching my hair too much. Um, Diana there's, says no. There's no proof that says there aren't, but there is also no proof that says there are. Diana says no. Oh, Bad Cat is here. She says, look at all the history that can't be explained. Yeah, like the pyramids and all that crazy stuff. Yes. Belladonna says yes. Mignon has seen them. Kristen, see, I think I'm Chris, I'm on Kristen's boat. Like, I, I want to believe. I just want to believe. Just like in Bigfoot, I don't think I believe in Bigfoot just because, like, how would we not have found his poo by now or something? <laughs> Seriously, though, you got to find trace evidence of this guy. Well, but I want to believe in him, and I want to believe in the Loch Ness Monster, but they're not quite as, like, I, I don't know, I guess, uh, like, logical I don't know. I, aliens, I would personally believe I, in a, an alien life form before those two. Yeah. So. Like, yeah. Okay, like, yeah, just because. <laughs> oh, the hug to Raven. Andy says, yes. Uh, Same with paranormal. There could be. Oh, Eric saw know. one out and, wow, saw a UFO that couldn't be explained. Where at? Like, Germany? I, every time I see him, I'm just like, Germany, because I love Germany. Um... Mike says, Google lights over Tinley Park. Yeah, so I had just moved here when the town over from me had a sighting by the Hollywood Amphitheater, I guess. You were living here. Mm -hmm. Was it a big thing? Did you see them? I didn't see them. <laughs> He's like, wow. I, I remember hearing about them. And you keep the cricket from my phone, right? Uh, California, Northern California. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of my train of thought. It's it's just too much. True. Like it's just too big of a universe. And think like if our sun is a star, and it houses so many planets, not houses, but you know what I mean. Facilitates. Facilitates so many planets. Imagine all the stars out there that are suns to other solar systems. It's just it's mind blowing. Okay. Mm. So, can we name the cricket? We need to name the cricket now. Jiminy <laughs> can't know I'm on too. Jiminy. We do need to name the cricket because he's he's wanting to be noticed. I, I feel like he's in that corner. It's driving I me I think he up. might be. He could be in that closet. Just go open the closet door and see if it like shuts up. Should I say, hey, cricket, you there? Okay. Open open the door and just see. Like, maybe he'll stop. <laughs> it's very wishful thinking on my behalf. Um oh. I scared him already. Oh, that means he's in the room because he could see us. 
Guys, we're on to something. We're on to something. I'm going to show you guys what this room looks like right now because it's a big hot mess. But there's my ring light. All right. <laughs> this is more than you guys ever wanted to see. It's quiet, though. I scared them. You scare a lot of things. We got 114 people watching us looking for a cricket. He literally could be in the room. Uh, he is in the room because you stood up and he stopped. So just we occasionally have to stand up and, and scare the cricket. He dropped that box earlier. He stopped too. He stopped. He's he's in this room. So, anyways, <laughs> cricket. Um, Mary Mary has a question. Do you think Etsy is a good place to sell vintage magazines and old books? I guess my honest answer would be I don't know because I don't have any experience selling on Etsy at all. I've always used eBay. I've recently um, used Instagram, but now I'm looking into more like my own platform, so to speak. But I think you could probably get good exposure on there, right? You thinking? Yeah, I'm, I'm catching up really quick. Uh, Heidelberg. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Glenna says she found out her grandbaby number 29 is on the way next year. Oh, well, congratulations. That's awesome. Why'd you put my creepy food dog here? <laughs> so I just got this. For those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, that's where I post like, I don't know, more of my daily routine updates, I guess. This looks really creepy, but it's, it is. I can't lie. It's a food dog. There we go. Put in some better light. And it's big and it's got a little puppy. And the puppy has its eyes. So I don't know why Brett felt the need to try that. But congratulations, Glenna. That's actually so sweet. 29. Number 29. <gasps> That's 29 crazy. Her 29th grandbaby is on there. She just found out. So oh, congratulations. Yeah. Southern Hippie about the aliens says possibly, but they probably are not what we picture them as being. I agree. They're probably they could not. Look just like us. You never know. They probably look just like us. Wait, somebody said something about bad luck. Uh, Todd says if he's in the closet, boomer, they will stop at the sign of your footsteps. <laughs> Maybe the cricket's an alien. Um, I'm catching up on comments really quick. Don't hate me. I just, I don't want to, yeah, don't hurt it. It's bad luck. I'm a weirdo. I don't hurt bugs in my house, regardless, even outside in nature. Unless it's a mosquito, I don't hurt bugs. Even spiders, I'll leave them alone. I'm weird like that. Uh, click that like button. Oh, yes. If you guys could please hit that beautiful thumbs up button. <laughs> You'll have to click out of the chat probably to find it at this point. But Brett's new safe word is cricket. It could be in the fireplace. It's in the fireplace. You probably could see it. No, Here, so we have a fireplace in the basement flute. that's never used. So this is our... Um... I heard it. <laughs> you heard the cricket? You're like, are you giving them a tour? This is slightly creepy. No. Ew. Okay. Oh, Ew, this is not my flattery. Put it back <laughs> but we'll bag on. Okay, put it back down. Oh, put it back down. <laughs> All we need is the possum and peacock, right? I have too many creatures inhabiting my property line. <laughs> the possum that was at the end of that one live, that was trippy because it's it was just like air hissing. I saved hissing. Life. I You did, you did. And then the peacock refuses to visit my personal property, so I find that peacock relatively rude. <laughs> um, Debbie, where's your go-to place to find out what is something what it's worth. I guess how you want to, okay, I'm getting too deep, but how you want to interpret that is up to you. What it's currently selling for and what people are currently willing to pay for it. I always just check the sold listings on eBay. What something is worth. Um, I guess it really depends. I feel like if I see something I really like and I want it, I just buy it if i can within means i'm not trying to say i'll just buy it but like if i can within my means i'll buy it especially if you can't find it on ebay like that food dog was nowhere to be found on ebay because it was humongous so um 
Yeah, but to see what things are currently being sold for, I would always recommend the sold listings on eBay. Congratulations to Glenna. Yes, number 29, my mom would die. Mm -hmm. She has one grandbaby, and that's the only one she's going to get. Please don't <laughs> forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Mary Mary said your food dog's you. ugly. <laughs> really? Well, I'm sorry. She, she's fine with you. Oh. <laughs> it's cuter in person. The food dog is a little terrifying. It has to be restored. Somebody took out its eyeballs, so it's a little misfortunate. Yeah, it's got a lot of broken teeth. It's got a lot of broken everything, to be honest, but I had to have it. So I was like, you gotta stand up, go by the fireplace. Booga booga. Just, what are you trying? Is it, no, you just stand up. It'll shut up. Can you put a link to your Instagram? Um, so Ashley Rose uh, XOXO is my personal account, and then I'm trying to check this all at once. Honey Blossom Vintage is my <laughs> sales page. I'll pin that. Oh. Down in? It's on the ceiling. How is he in the ceiling? I don't know. But I hear him up there and I just tap right here and he stopped. It's getting too crazy. <laughs> it's getting too crazy. Why are they foaming at the mouth? Uh, those are actually, the guy said that it's ivory, the little teeth and the food dog. I don't know if I believe it's ivory or not. He also Forest said, Vines is here, dragon. <laughs> he also said it's from the 1700s. Oh, Melissa already liked. Thank you. Raven liked it as well. Um, so, yeah, there's my Instagram pages. But soon something very magical and majestical and wonderful will be happening. And you won't have to have an Instagram or eBay account to buy from my obnoxious inventory. So, <laughs> aw. Oh, how's the poppin' is here? She goes, I found a kitten. No way. Oh my gosh, I love kitties. I love the puss. <laughs> well, that one will scare away everything. You guys think my food dog is hideous? Oh, he, he is pretty hideous. I can't lie. Dragons. <laughs> Dragons. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one last story before we dive into the, <laughs> the bins. <laughs> this is how my lives go. But so we were at the flea market where that lady is that we sell at. For those of you that probably are wondering what we're talking about, we sell this flea market or we visit this flea market that's local. We try to every Sunday. There, when we sell there, there's this lady that comes by and she, bless her heart, she just comes by all the time and she's like, I'm looking for dragons. And that's kind of how she says it. Like, I can't do a good impersonation of it. You can. She says, yeah, you got any dragons? <laughs> it's kind of like that. She's got a deep, scratchy voice. And then, then on, she'll say, you got any dragons or gone with the wind. <laughs> and the raspiness goes away for the gone with the wind request. But She's so nice. I don't mean to like make fun of her, but it's just the way like she says dragons. It just cracks me up. And she wants it known. She's like, for dragons. <laughs> so, like, and her pants are always in the... They're, they are? Yeah, they're always... you, I've never noticed. You're <laughs> way too observant. You notice everything. I've never looked at this poor woman's... <laughs> Another region, <laughs> but <laughs> good to know you are. No, but um, I can't help but look at her in other regions. <laughs> Stop. Ew. Stop. Anyway, so we were at the flea market <laughs> last week and we weren't selling, we were just strictly shopping. And we stopped by this guy's booth, and he had he always has really cool memorabilia like legit memorabilia, a lot of war stuff, a lot of war. war. He war. even has like, um, like Nazi and like crazy like memorabilia he has really good tin types like legit antiques and stuff like that then out of nowhere he has this like toy dragons and me and him go to each other and we just were jokingly saying like dragons like in memory of that woman and he goes yes that lady he was like she came by and she won't buy these dragons this week yeah she was like she said i don't have any money for dragons this week <laughs> She bought all the dragons in the land. So, um, anyways. Oh, well, Brianna's got a nice optimistic outlook on the cricket. I like that. I have a cricket outside my window. <laughs> We're all going to be hearing crickets. At least it's not a cicada. So, <laughs> those things are gross. 
I saw a Food Dragon on YouTube the other day. Oh, I like them Food Dragons too, though. I like the sound. So, hey, anyways. All right. So, should we dive in? Now that we have confirmed, most of us here believe in aliens, except for my mom, who peaced out because she probably went to get snacks. <laughs> Um, I hope most of you have went to say hi to Jay on his channel by now, or at least write his name down, check him out in a bit, maybe after the stream here, and go say hi, subscribe. I like sure you got waffles. <laughs> you got waffles. Uh, yeah, so cicadas are the devil's work. I, those things are just gross. I can't. Stop screaming. If you've ever ridden through a cloud of them on a motorcycle, oh, you'll never God. like them again. That's nasty. All right, so we're going to dive into a bin. But on that note, we were driving back from my last vlog, which the audio was so messed up on that. I, I really oh, need to figure out, like, my microphone problem. Sandwich. It, yeah. We were driving back from there in his truck just a couple weeks ago, and you have to go through all these cornfields, back roads to get this town. And it literally, we were driving. And then I was on my phone checking stuff. He's driving. And all of a sudden, it sounds like rain. Felt like rain, yeah. It just sounded like, you know how the rain drops on your windshield sound? And I look up, and I'm like, there's like clouds, but it's like sunny. And I'm like, is it raining? And we look at the windshield, it's just splatting so many bugs that it sounded like it, it was disgusting. I'm clouds. Sorry. <laughs> clouds of bugs. These little flies. It was disgusting. Oh, yeah. it was Thousands of them. <laughs> I'm gonna have that damn dragon. <laughs> I love that woman, bless her heart. <laughs> uh, but oh yuck! <laughs> I, I suppose <laughs> <laughs> if cicadas can sit in a tree and scream, <laughs> that's funny. No, it's kind of funny. Um, I swear we're getting to these bins at some point today. But we were out at the grocery store today. And on the corner of two main roads by my house, there was two groups of, not protesters. Well, yeah, one side was. So yeah, so <laughs> I guess we'll call them protesters. One side was protesters, one side was anti-protesters. It was literally an intersection. So, like, you have one intersection here and one intersection, like. They were kitty corner across yeah, the they were kitty. they were dying. I don't know what I was trying to do here. I don't know either. Just, this is the road. Now, here's the stoplight. <laughs> Just, this, 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 this they were kitty quarter across the intersection. So anyways, there was two very op opposite views just across the street from each other yelling at each other. One side holding American flags, one side holding up cardboard signs, and it was just a big hot mess. <laughs> but that was my thrill for the day, probably. Oh, needless. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Anti-protesters protesting, kind of. Uh, Anti-protesters protesting. Exactly, that's, that's kind of what it was. The, it, it basically was that kind of saying, like, you know, if you don't like it, just whatever. So it was kind of amusing to see. And it was peaceful. There was no, like, violence. But it was just really funny because literally across from each other, like, you could tell, like, yeah. <laughs> the groups were not They weren't happy. burning down Frankfurt. They were not. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go through these two bins now, I guess, and just pull out random objects and get lost in conversation along the way because that's what I do. No, oh, you got to put the bin, like, on your lap. Visual representation. It's a thing. That's heavy. <laughs> and, and cumbersome. Cumbersome? It's cumbersome. Yeah, people probably say that. Nah, look, at, look at how I got to sit. <laughs> 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 All right. So we're gonna dive on in. Oh, I got that from the bins. Why did I get this from the bins? Are you sure? You classy lady. <laughs> I don't think this came from the bins. I think you're playing. <laughs> this, okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's probably some bugs in here because we filmed this video. This is three months ago. Yeah, this was filmed in May. Yeah, so we have this. In the garage. We have this lovely tub, and then we have another lovely tub over here, and they were all brought to you. By May. So I guess we'll just pull this out because that was the first thing. It's a beautiful framed, looks like needlepoint cat. Couldn't live without that cat, so I had to bring it home. It will be listed. There's just no reason for me to keep this because I already got too many cats. I hate none of 
<laughs> what are you hating on it for? <laughs> so it looks like brass, this thing. And it would be really cool if it was like antique brass, but it's not. It's, what? it's plaster? Maybe. Ish? I don't know. It was once $24.99 at Home Accents. And it's got a free little spider web on his antler. But it's just a wall hanging and maybe a, a coat hook. I don't know why I felt the need to buy this. I'm never going to put this up in my house. But it is cute, so I'll probably put this on eBay because it's not vintage. So I don't want to put it on my new platform, which will be strictly vintage. But I had to have that for whatever reason. So, oh, this, that's adorable. I, I don't remember getting this at all. Look at that. It is a butterfly candlestick holder. Oh, yes. <laughs> I found this. I feel like my conversation is more interesting than these pieces. <laughs> Brett was really thrilled to help me find this owl trivet. Gotta let him in, you know. Thank I just you. found a set. <laughs> now these were cool. These are candlestick holders as well. Candlestick holders, and it's a pair of them, completely unscathed, undamaged in any way. Actually, one's bigger than the other. I like that though because it's a different height. That's really cool. So I had to have these guys. <laughs> Yay. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. You're going too fast. I can't even ramble on and get along. I'm not just backstory about anything because of you. Why do I have this? Gaston. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Uh, it's a mushroom magnet. God knows I needed this. That right there probably only cost you about eight cents, maybe less. <laughs> I remember seeing this in the vlog as I edited. It does say something on the back. It says, made in England. It's a pretty little wall hanging, gold and black. It's framed, it's nice, it's cute. It would look really nice on a gallery wall. I just, some of the stuff I don't feel is worth listing because no one's gonna wanna buy this. It's cute. You could always make a lot though. That's true. Several things That's true. and then you know, make it more worth somebody's while. Now this is totally adorable. It is a multi-colored stoneware set. And just sits like that. This beautiful little creamer pitcher thing, if you will. I love it because it's not just stoneware, but it's multicolored, and that's not something you usually see. Heck no. So yay. Alright, now I gotta go back to the comments because that's what makes me happy. <laughs> Uh, Nancy said, my favorite. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that too. It's a deer jewelry holder. Really? Wait, this guy? Is this what that is? Well, then. I mean, I guess it could be, but. It definitely could be. Well, if you like it, just message <laughs> me and <laughs> it's yours because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um,. Gold is definitely in. It would look really cute in like an office or like a above something, like a vanity maybe. I love the bins. They're an hour away in Columbus. Oh, wow. Ooh. That would look neat in my. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Mary Mary is saying goodnight. Well, thank you, Mary Mary, for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. She's like, oh, we're getting to the hall now. Later, guys. No, I'm joking. No, I appreciate your stop, <laughs> tremendous generosity. Thank you incredibly. And I'm very happy that you like to be, I'm going to smack you, <laughs> like the drums. So thank you so much. And I do appreciate you. Everything, oh, for sure. I do. I, I sound so scripted, but I, I want people to know I appreciate them. Got dancing with cows in my face. <laughs> so it's a cow, guys. It's a beautiful cow. It's not just any cow. It's a floral printed cow. It's actually got, what? Well, no way. No way. It's for decorative purposes only. Don't store your food in it. Part of the farm. Part of the farm. Okay, so this, I, it's got a tag on it, so it must not be handmade, but these, I think, were handmade. Somebody actually commented on the video that they wanted them. I think it was dj duke but i don't know if she's i don't think she's watching but it's just a little lamb family and i thought they were adorable so i had to have them here's the mama and here's her baby 
So my mom came on here to make it known that I was in trouble and then she peaced out. I got this for Avery because it's a cat and it was brand new and clean, so why not? Uh, catch up real quick. Oh, everyone's saying good night. <laughs> she says I'm just older than you, Brett. Oh, well, hi, Monica. What, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. I met Debbie. <laughs> this was supposed to make it into the package I sent you. I'm sorry. Well, I'll send you another one. Probably in the fall. A little more squirrels. Because you collect squirrels. And I bought this for you, thinking of you. And I guess I just forgot about it. I, I don't even keep track of what I have sometimes. We'll do that last because it's like just a bag of jewelry. This is interesting. It's another stem wrap picture. Oh, oh god no. Ooh, girl. You well look at look at the from the ring light. Looks like you got crazy pupils. Stop. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> Let me see it. Wait, I gotta see it. <laughs> After I just told him to stop, I'm like, but wait. Oh, girl. Oh, it does look like I got, like, it looks weird. To be honest, you these, look better in them than I do. These are kind of sassy. I kind of like, like them. I like them too. I was going to keep them for myself. For yourself? Yeah. Rude. Yeah, they're, they're, they're my style. <laughs> no, they're not. Absolutely. All right, I got to cover the, <laughs> the reflection. Look at this ring light, guys. Ooh. This right here, though. I like these. You're just diving on in, boy, you're killing it. Is it did it break? Oh, that's a jewelry. Uh, oh, now this could go with this. It's a jewelry tray with a gold antler on it. And why not just pair it with this? Look at that. Duh. I was totally matchmaking that day. What's it say? Dogs leave moments. All prints on our hearts. Oh, that's cute. A little jewelry dish, I guess. I got two of them. That's a whole bag of jewelry. Whole bag of jewelry. All right, I gotta put these fragiles away from me. <laughs> oh, now everybody talks about these. So I gotta be honest, I got these not knowing oh, yeah. what the heck they were other than needle points. But everybody in the comments let me know that this is Pinky and Blue Boy. So. I had to have these, and now I know their names. And now I see them in every dang antique mm -hmm. store that I go in. Not the needle points, but the actual paintings themselves. We actually Blue saw Prince. two sets of them today. Yeah. So this is Blue Boy, and this is Pinky, and these are based off of famous paintings. I forget the artist's name, but, oh, and then there's this. Oh, thank you all for not smoking. Had to have it. It's just a cute little owl thing, you know, so it's there. I feel like we we're just, uh, we were having fun talking about aliens. It's a oh, who wants to look at this crap? I know, right? This is actually adorable. It's a cute little clutch, and I love pink. I love soft, velvety pink, so I needed to have it. You're going too fast. I like to ramble on and really talk excessively about things that I don't need to. The rest of this thing is crap. It's not crap. Yeah. He's such a guy. There's a, there's a ball of yarn. <laughs> there's another ball of yarn. She said, I'm going to do something with them. <laughs> and that's It's it. an elk can. Would you just stop? Here's a raccoon. It looks really sad at this point. Look at his little, like, scraggly hairs. You got this. And the raccoon, too. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Joking. I had to have this. This is a Thomas Kincaid t shirt. The guy who makes the puzzles and all those pretty, like, cottage pictures i had to should i wear this should i change no. i'll wear this on my next slide next next next, next slide time. you can catch me in this catch me as we're not just forgetting about that we no we're going to this oh, thing for real one for real okay there what is this <laughs> i bought a scarf see you guys only see a little fraction of what i actually buy and film in my videos because Nobody saw this. It actually smells pretty good for sitting in the garage and being through the bins for that long. It's a little best. It's a little best. We don't really have too much to say about it. 
<laughs> it's a little best. I'm not really going to lose people. They're like, I can't. <laughs> it's a little camel something. A camel something. Let's see. All right. Let's see if anybody can tell me. What are you me. buying? Shipping supplies. Stop. You're going too fast. You're killing the vibes. The whole feng shui is off. Now we got to redo the whole thing. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So that's better. <laughs> Sit there. And there you go. All right, it's, it, it's getting weird. So these things, they're probably just weird little placemats. Where I dropped them. There's four of them. Well, oh, wait, there's a llama. There's a bird. And Okay, there's two llamas and two birds. All right, that's all I got to say about that. I don't know what these are. Fabric coasters? I don't know. <laughs> I'm in timeout. You are in timeout. <laughs> Oh, you so sad. We got, oh, I had to have this bib. Okay, what is this? Is this a purse? Why did I buy? Why did you let me buy some of these things? At least it only cost probably 25 cents. I don't know what it is. It's probably like a clutch purse. I think I was just buying things to like, I don't know. Why do you look so sad? Where'd my mom go? She got snacks. I got this thing, this fancy linen. At this point in the day when we were grabbing the linens, I think I was just grabbing interesting things to wrap my fragiles in. I can only hope, Kristen. What? <laughs> you get a spanking out of it. Oh, well, that's nice of you to say, Mike. So, yes, guys, my P.O. box is number 67 in terrible Frankfurt, in Illinois. So if you'd like to send me something to open, I would love to do that. Just go ahead and send it there. Um, oh, like a niche. My accent just pops out. And then there's this. I showed in the video. It's a really, really extravagantly large piece of linen with embroidered flowers. Look at that. It's really, really big. I don't want to unfold it. Imagine pillowcase. Oh, so this, no, no way. That's a pillowcase? Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's not a placemat? Does it open? It's a pillowcase, but. So that means this either is a curtain or a bed sheet. It's probably a bed sheet. It's a bed sheet. So we'll sell it as a set. It's really cute. I actually love these colors. These would look amazing for like the fall coming up. But Avery would literally kill me if I put these on her bed. And um, these are I, I like my bed set. I said set. Set. These are placement. We got the Amish folk. Set of four. The country folk. Now I bought these again. It's just random shipping supplies, but I actually think somebody might enjoy these as a. Are we buying you? Mm -hmm. I actually think somebody might enjoy these as a set. So I'm not going to. I don't know. Put them in shipping. I'm just going to sell them because I think somebody out there would love to give these a home. So they got a nice little couple on them. Let's give him a view with a couple. Well, all right, you're no help. He's fired. Cricket. I know. Stand up. Go chase the cricket. <laughs> ha. You showed that no. cricket. Oh, it's showing. What is this? What? What did I, guys? Oh, it's like a window. What do they call it? Valance. The valance. Yeah. So just a little vintage embroidered. You gotta go get that thing. Like cricket. You got it. It's defying you right now. <laughs> it's, this is embarrassing. Every time we do a live down here, something. Some kind of nature. Some kind of nature messes in. Now, I, I got this heavy, thick sweater from Croft and Barrow, and it's quite large. I do say so myself. Well, what is it? Aw, Monica's so sweet. She buys from Honey Boss all the time, too. Thank you, Monica. I didn't even see that. Aw, that's very sweet. Thank you so much. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I'm blushing. But thank you. Aww. <laughs> so I did pick up this sweater. It looks really gaudy and tacky right now, and you can't even see it because it's so large. But um, that day when Looks we like were there, no, that day when we were there, it was kind of cold outside, so that, I was right? thinking of the homeless, and I don't know, I tend to like to buy things for everybody, 
And we see a lot of homeless folks in the Chicago land suburbs. So I was like, I'll get this for somebody if we see them and they're cold. I don't know. And then there's a blanket too. I was going to sell this, but I don't know if anybody wants to buy this. It's a nice homemade, handcrafted Afghan. It's a little creepy. It actually smells good. It does. And it comes with two rolls of yarn for free. It nice. Somebody actually <laughs> washed it before doing it. Kristen says Cosby's sweater. Yeah, Monica, you are so sweet. Thank you. And it's yellow. I've never seen it yellow before. That's kind of cool. What, well, how did you just throw this in there like that? How are you going to play? How are you going to play? What is this? What did I get? Valley Cat, it does kind of look like a Coogee sweater. You're right. A what? Coogee sweater. What's that? It's a brand. They're usually in multicolored, <laughs> crazy patterns. Really? It does look like a Cosby sweater. I can't see mm -hmm. it now. Well, I was trying to get some homeless guy to be looking fresh. So fresh, so clean. They sell well. Coogee. Mm -hmm. huh. It's not a Coogee, but it does. It, it could resemble one. I believe Valley Cat, she um, knits. So, wait, where'd you, where'd you put the yarn? You already cleaned it all up? Yeah, Jeez. we cleaned up. He's just trying to truck on through this. Wool ease, thick and quick. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And the views shoot down because <laughs> Brett's poor taste in jokes. I'm just kidding. I'm just jokes, guys. Mm. I'm just jokes. Can you just model this for us, please? Nothing. It's not too much to ask. Jeez. All right. So we got a bin full of linens, owls, and other things that I couldn't live without. <laughs> Maybe the other bin's better. It is. <laughs> we just had to get that one out of the way first. If you're interested in Pinky and Blue Boy, please do let me know. And if you guys watched the vlog, she found these in two different bins in two different areas oh, yeah, and reunited yeah. them. So their story oh. is quite impressive. <laughs> oh. I don't know which way goes which. Anyway, they can be yours for a low, low price of eight payments of $19.95. That's all. No baby. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the elephant? Monica says you're welcome. Thank Where's you. Where's the elephant? What elephant? The cool ass elephant. Oh, he's upstairs. You don't get no props. He's yeah. already he's already on display. Oh, yeah, uh, he's in the wicker. Monica's so sweet. She said you're welcome. Thank you. Um, those sell well. The sweaters. Yep. They were popular in the '90s. I bought my husband's sweater just like that one. <laughs> oh goodness. I just catch up on comments really quick. The Afghan. I love the Afghan. I think it's got the really nice harvest color. So. It wasn't a harvesty kind of mood that day. I heard people get crazy at the Goodwill bins. Like, are you in Snow's way? Is that true? It is true. So this vlog that I already have posted on my page that these two bins are from, it was an incredibly peaceful day at the bins. Like, ridiculously peaceful. Like, what was going on? But we went about a week ago. Two days ago. That was not two days ago. Okay, it was Tuesday, three days ago. Really? Mm. No. Mm. It's like Monday. Stand up that cricket. No. Just talk. <laughs> just talk. But anyways, we went about just a couple days ago, I guess it doesn't really matter when, but we went to film another video, and it was... Madhouse. It wasn't like people were fighting, but they were definitely like... Hawks. Like oh, reaching over you to get things, and it was just so invasive. A lady from the other side crawled in the bin. She was in her bin, reaching into the one I was at. Oh, it's on your phone. Do you get that? Yeah, I think I got it on your phone. I got, I got like a shot. Oh, your phone's dead. Way to go! My phone's Typical dead. guy. I can't keep his phone charged. <laughs> but literally. People were like sharks at, at this last one mm. we were at. And it was the same one we just filmed that before. But as soon as they bring out the new row of bins, people were like lined up and you have to wait until the very last bin comes out before you can start looking. And then as soon as that last bin comes out, it's just like Free for all. zombie apocalypse. Like people just tearing into the bins, just like throwing things. It's just like, it's a big old hot mess. So, I mean, I haven't seen any fights break out, but people be wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mom had that owl. This owl? Are you talking about this owl? Or did I have an owl in there? 
You have the thank you for not smoking owls, but oh, well, oh, the owl in back. Oh, thank you. So this was sent to me from the recycled life. They picked this up at a garage sale, and Thought they were like. Ashley would love that. So they sent it to me. So now it's here. And I just, I opened that just now. So, mm -hmm. yay. <laughs> Going to need that black kitty. Really? Which black kitty? The uh, needlework. Needle yeah. This black kitty. This puss. This marvelous puss. <laughs> <laughs> I guess up. We were in the bins for four hours. And then this past week, we were in for like two and a half. Maybe. Two and a half. That's it? Mm. Really? Sammy and Tucker. Ooh. Oh, mom. Yes, that woman throwing stuff at me was really getting annoying, but I guess it was more common like this past week. People just reaching mm -hmm. like in our faces, literally. It's like <laughs> you even said something to some guy who was reaching past you to get hats. Yeah. Zombie apocalypse. It was. <laughs> it really was. No. Are you serious? A mouse? I can see it happen, no problem. Yeah. There's really? broken glass all over the place, and I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff in there. A mouse? Uh, well, yeah, why not? You saw when I filmed the back of the warehouse, I'm sure there's mice back there, you know? I guess. Yikes. And Nancy said, but she said, Whoop. some people do get very aggressive at the bends. Yeah, that is true. Um, I had somebody actually comment on my Instagram today why my prices are not more affordable. And I kindly tried to point out that shipping is usually included in my prices. So like sometimes shipping is like 15 to 20. So if I have an item price at $29 and it takes like 15 bucks to ship, I'm not making right, a whole bunch of it. Bucks. Yeah, and you have to take into consideration what I paid for the item originally. I, I don't go to the bins. That's not my preferred choice. I think they make very popular videos. I think they are one of the most, like, I don't know. Quick done? Yeah, I think those, the bins videos, Goodwill, people love those videos. And that's all my videos that are Goodwill or Goodwill bins get the most views. But my true passion is flea markets and antique stores. So that's where I usually buy my things. Usually more antique stores, which obviously if I'm at an antique store versus a Goodwill, I'm going to pay the price for it. So I usually buy things with a higher price tag. So if I'm going to sell it, I have to try to make something. So unfortunately I was a little snarky on Instagram today when some poor woman asked me to make more reasonable listings. I was just honest with her and I told her, you know, I like to think I'm reasonable. I'm not like the cheapest like reseller, but I'm also not buying like the cheapest things either. Like this Goodwill bins is out of the norm for me. It's not something I prefer to do, but I had fun it's more doing for it. More video than the. And, like I enjoy doing it here and there, but it's not how I would prefer to spend my day. Mm. I would prefer to spend my day in an antique shop, picking through genuine antiques, so to speak, because. The Goodwill bins are a hot mess. You it's ninety-eight percent junk and two percent finds. Yes, probably less than that to be honest with you. But just like Melissa said and Jay said, like people don't like if you're not reselling or if you don't sell online. I don't think you really realize how much effort it takes to you know you have to put your time into sourcing and finding the pieces, the gas to get there. If you buy it, usually you got to clean it up a bit, you know, which that's not a, usually such a big deal. But then shipping is pricey. So if somebody says free shipping and say you live on the West Coast and they live in the Midwest or East Coast, it's going to be like 15 bucks to ship something really lightweight to you, minimum. Like that's just how shipping works. So I get a little like heated when people... You know, I don't mean to go off into a tangent, but I, I think a lot of people look at my prices and think I'm very, very pricey. And while I'm admitting I'm not the cheapest channel or reseller, I also include shipping all that jazz. Mm -hmm. So that's just a tangent and you're welcome. <laughs> well, that's, I, I like to think of it that way too. <laughs> yeah. You try not to. 
Yeah, I try not to. <laughs> I try not to. The goal is to get it there safely. It's a rude question to ask why you pray so you do. You pray. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I feel the same way. The comment I got today, she wasn't. I don't think she was trying to be rude, but she's like, "Could you make your things more affordable?" And like, I was, I just was not in the mood this morning. <laughs> but also, like, I don't know. I just don't find it fun to like pick up stuff for like a quarter and sell it for five dollars. That's not what I aim for. I aim for more quality versus quantity. And I'm not saying everything I pick up is gonna be top notch. Like these are just this is a fun bins video. But this lady specifically asked me today to have more affordable prices. And I'm like I'm not the most affordable reseller and I never claim to be, but that's because I kind of set my standards a little bit higher. Yeah. I feel like I'm sounding very pretentious right now. Not and I don't all. mean to come off that way. No, I'm, not at all. I don't mean to come off rude. I feel like it comes off rude though. You're just explaining yourself because a lot of people don't realize that kind of stuff. So Yeah. Like if you see me list like a brass turtle I have right now on Honey Blossom, I think it's like for twenty five dollars. Like that thing I think I paid six dollars plus tax for it. And then it's going to, because of the weight, it's over 13 ounces. So it has to be shipped priority, priority mail. So priority mail is minimum $8. So I already have eight plus six. I already have yeah, 14 plus tax, 15, 16 bucks into it. Selling it for 24, you can make eight bucks. Right. If it goes to California, you'll make four bucks. Right. So <laughs> while if people probably look at the listing and they're like, this girl wants $25 for a brass turtle trivet it's like i gotta make something and i try to offer fun little pieces but I, i'm not trying to like put myself in the hole either so i don't know if that, <laughs> that comment today i don't think she meant it in a rude way but i just i guess wanted her to know like kindly like i'm i set my price pretty reasonably anyways i'm off on a tangent i <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> Uh, I feel like I sound so mean. Um, but you also add nice touches. Well, thank you. I do definitely try. Thank you. See there, okay, I feel better at reading the comments because more people seem to understand that it's not just like, I can't, I, I don't understand how these other channels vary becoming trending almost lately to sell crap. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna say it, like cheap crap. Like a lot of channels are doing live sales. And I think that's great, make your money. But I personally don't love the products I've seen that are being sold. They're very, just, I don't know. That's gonna sound bitchy if I say it, but it's like they're lackluster. Three and four hour items. Yeah, and it's like, it's not even worth my time to pack something for like two bucks. Like, you know, like, I just, I don't. Right, must may sell the Yes, that is literally some right California or Washington. That's my top two states that buy for me. And I am not complaining by any means. A sale is a sale. But like I just do free shipping on all my listings because it's easier for me. I don't like to calculate. I don't like to put the extra step into it. So I would just rather eat a couple extra dollars, you know, if I must, depending on the buyer's location. But I swear, most of my buyers come from California and Washington, mm -hmm. occasionally Texas. Florida. Yeah, occasionally Florida and Texas, but like California and Washington, like the like the West Coast, they buy very well over there. I like that. Um, let's see, you're helping soon. That's true. Very true, too. Todd says, I sold stuff on eBay where the shipping costs more than the product I sold. Yeah, very, very true. <laughs> Is it yeah, mm -hmm. so we were filming a video recently and we kind of made a little uh, joke about that. Like, mm -hmm. there's this huge chip in something, we're like, it's just a flea bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it drives me nuts when people try to like undermine a huge flaw in something. I'm like, no, address it. Like, why is all that? Yeah, you know? please don't bite. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel a little bit better. Uh, no, 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 I, I wasn't trying to be here, no. <laughs> Some lady came at me today on Instagram. It wasn't you, and she publicly was like, you need to make your prices more affordable. And I was like, 
Like, <laughs> ooh, it was not the morning. Uh, Chippy the Squirrel, I like that name. Adding dimensions would be helpful. A lot of times I try, but sometimes if I'm doing it like while I'm in the car and I'm not at home and the piece, like if I already had the picture taken and the piece isn't in front of me and I'm just trying to get stuff done while I have the time, I'll forget to do that. But I agree with that. It is helpful. Jimmy, the yeah, I, I feel like a lot of like people, to be quite honest, I feel like eBay especially, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it, a lot of vintage resellers on YouTube right now are kind of killing <laughs> the market, so to speak, because they're selling things for so cheap. And I'm sorry, you can take that however you want. I don't mean offense, but... I know of some channels that I used to talk with and I just, I can't even like anymore, like look at the direction they're headed because I'm like, really? It's just so like, womp, womp. like I don't want to say it cause it's mean, but I feel like people are selling things so cheap. It's undermining the value of antiques and it's just, you know, what I'm I don't want to be rude. So I'll try not to go there, but <laughs> Like that, yeah, like what Jay said. I feel like everyone these days, they're like, oh my God, it's Mark Japan on the bottom. It's got to be worth a ton. Like, no, leave. Four, four bucks. Yeah, just because it's marked in Japan on the bottom does not mean <laughs> worth, you know, it's just too much. Major paint loss. <laughs> See, I love them because they're blunt and honest and they're just very realistic about saying it. I... I don't know, I guess I'm just afraid of sounding some type of way because people always think I'm pretentious and bratty. So I feel like I have to walk on eggshells with what I say. The cricket finally showed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. oh, just joking. But yeah, I just feel like a lot of the YouTube sales, they get on there and they're like $8 plus shipping. And that sounds great to who's ever not buying it, but you hear, oh, this sold for $8, but the shipping could very well be costing X, Y, and Z. You don't know what, I don't know what it's going for. But just so many people are just selling such garbage these days. And I, I want to cry. Been. Okay, well, he, that's his kind way of, of saying that I'm rambling. <laughs> <laughs> Should be the squirrel scissors, Mark Perry, and the table. Or the that's very true, too. At 50 plus, I totally agree about the chips and the cracks. Because it goes with the promise to make the sorry. Should be the There's somebody who does that. That's, ew. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Lori's funny. She is funny, though. You can buy her for five bucks. I'm a reseller and have run into the same problem. This cost of good. Yes. Exactly. Oh, really? Even pirate ships? See, I've never used that. I heard that helps. Like, it's a site that helps with making shipping a little easier on the sellers, but... They're raising the prices, it says. It's all true. <laughs> yep. Yep. That is like literally worded to a T. Oh, it's just a hairline that's completely full circle around this damn planter. But here it is for sale. And I, I just can't. I'm so yes, exactly. People are just like. I don't know, kind of depreciating the value of their own things just to turn it around quicker. And I'm like, hold on to it a little bit longer. Uh, like, give the respect to this piece that it deserves. You know? <laughs> so I got on a tangent there, but oh well. I, I'm allowed to have one now and then. <laughs> so anyways, Brett's telling me <laughs> I'm rambling too much. <laughs> so we're going to move on to bin number two. And you guys probably saw this in the video, but it is a miraculous Beautiful wooden framed four seasons painting. Do you like how I worded that? I tried. We got a barn here, a covered bridge there, a barn here, and a barn there. Winter, fall, summer, spring. And it's just beautiful. And it's going to be a pain in the butt to ship. I don't know if anyone will actually buy it. So I might just keep it. So I don't know. <laughs> Do you want it? Mm -hmm. You look like you're ready for bed. No, oh, it, it won't be hard to ship. You just create your own little box. You create your own little box. All right, I'm going to need you to pick this up because this is heavy. What, you really think I can pick that up? Just pull something out of it. Pull it up. Girl. 
Yeah. Girl. <laughs> Fancy Pandy. Fancy Pandy. <laughs> Fancy Panda. Oh, hi. That should just help that it's yes for this one. Oh, okay. It is me, the little hand painted barn team. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so next up we have these beautiful, it's in a velvet box, these like wedding goblets. That's what I'm calling them. Calling them at least. They're metal, they have some etched engravings in there. They do need to be polished up, cleaned up, but they're marvelous, so I had to have them. The next time we do a live, we can just drink out of these. I don't think they marked on them. There. Yeah, I know they're not. Ooh. Lion. Oh, wait, no, it is marked something. It's marked E-P-A-S. <laughs> Early as possible. I don't know. E-P-N-S. You know what? Tomato? Tomato? And then, ooh, girl, I it had to like, get this. That looks like silver. Yeah, so it's a good, so good tarnish to it. I mean, they're wedding cabinets. Aw, Sam just joined us. Want to pop in and say hi. It's almost 2 a.m. there. Oh, well, thanks for some. Bye. So sweet. Uh, and then, yeah, we got the platter here. Just fancy platter. I probably way overpaid on that. Thanks to the... Uh, maybe not. The I think it's silver as well. It's got some. Uh, maybe not. I, I tried know. so hard to find the damn matching candle stick to this candle holder, but I couldn't. Or the candle holder, the pair. You the did. Pair. You did. did but you scoured happen. long and hard. Scoured. Long and hard. I tried so hard. Oh, guys, this was my find of the day. This Don't be is jealous. The find of the day. Don't be jealous, but it's a rainbow trout. Hello. Mm -hmm. I think this is probably my biggest score ever <laughs> at the Goodwill pen. He's going to join us with the L right so, there. If anybody has a fisherman in their family that's looking for a rainbow trout pillow. Uh, Diana did just buy the fishing pearl basket. That's right. So I don't know. I just, I, he probably costs nothing. He doesn't even weigh like a pound. Uh, so I probably 60 cents maybe. Needed it. And she literally had to have them because I'm like, what are you doing with that? She's like, I'm um, buying it. I'm like, no. She's like, I need it. Oh, yeah. I and I'm just it. like, no. And, and then she overruled me. And here it is. <laughs> Next, we have this beautiful, colorful Colorado vintage tray. I really do like the design on it. It's super, like, I don't know, just nifty. It's a good old time, colorful. Colorado. Why did my mom dip out on me? This is a random thought I'm having in my head, but how rude. <laughs> she never sticks around. E P N S means silver plate. Oh. Silver plate. Well, thank you, Nas. That came came in out of nowhere, but that was very good to know. They do. I remember seeing them at Best Bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, have a good night. Oh, well, thank you, Angie. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, Monica. Those goblets will be listed. They will be. Somebody asked for Monica. Them. They will be listed. Oh, Royal Wine Glasses? I didn't even know. But yeah, those will be listed. Everything's going to be listed. And including this miraculous souvenir tray. It is kind of cool. It the is. only real damage is on like the bottom, just the cosmetic only. Yeah, it's just a little scuff. A little, a little, it's just a little flea bite, little folks. Flea bite. <laughs> it's just a just little a, just flea a little bite. scuff. Oh, what the heck did I buy? This isn't from the bins. Yeah. No, this is from Goodwill. I don't know how this got in here. It's a tinfoil wizard picture. I bought it for the lady at the flea market. Leave me alone. <laughs> and then the day I bring it to the flea market, she probably says she has no money. <laughs> um, ooh. Ooh. Just throw that away. It smells like cat pee. It doesn't really, but it just smells icky. It just smells like... Okay, the now, it does. It does smell like them. Now this, I really, really like this. Um, I showed it in the video, and I, it almost seems like I was making fun of it in the video, but I, I wasn't. But it's kind of funny because I went there hoping and praying that I would get lucky enough to find one, and I didn't. But I found one in picture form. It's a peacock chair. <laughs> so there we have it. A beautiful peacock chair mm -hmm. and it's sort of got this painted on the glass 
plant. So this is going to go in the wicker room, which you guys will be seeing within the next year or so. All my hard work. Oh my god, tell me why I bought this. I probably, like, considering how heavy this is, how much do you think, how many pounds do you think that is? Probably three. Then that's not that bad. So you spent four bucks on it. Yeah. Now, if, Even though they were selling it for 75 cents. At <laughs> some point. Somebody so, was selling it for 75 cents. Not the bins. Now, um, it's got a good weight to it. And now. it was sexually mature. I was just going to ask him, you meanie. For those of you that watched my vlogs lately, I can't stop talking about sexually mature sea creatures. <laughs> so I bought this, and you can tell that it was sexually mature because it has a nice flared lip. Sounds quite perverse. I suppose it is. But that's how you know the, the approximate age. Back up a bit. Yeah, so this particular kind of seashell, it probably was between two to three years old when it either died or something tragic happened to it. She and might have uh, she might have passed away doing what she loved. She was so sexually mature. <laughs> oh my god, man, I cannot. And then I bought a bag. <laughs> so I bought a bag of ribbon and things to tie up my uh, boyfriend with them. <laughs> to tie up my eBay packages with. And then, ooh, ooh, girl, I don't remember getting these for real. Oh, these are wow. so Sharon Those Tate. Are you. Sharon, don't they kind of look like Sharon? You kind of look like Sharon Tate. I kind of look like um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood yeah. version of Sharon Tate. That's even better. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie is. Let me just something. spice it up real quick for you guys. <laughs> Margot Robbie is something. She's cute. I like her. She's a little bit more than cute. I do like these, so I'm just gonna keep them on for a minute. <laughs> An Ashley shirt. Is it female? The seashell. That's actually something I don't know how to tell. Uh, I will have that info for you. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a girl. Soon. You think it's a girl? Yep. Really? Yeah, I studied it. Long Are you going to label it's it? It's 2020. You can't do that. No, I've labeled it a female and it's sexual orientation. She liked uh, the peacock thing. Um, back in the 60s. Sorry, this is going to be weird, but I, I love these sunglasses. As a kid, my mom was there and sailing. She put me a shirt. Oh. Oh. Yikes. That's awesome. That would look so cute in the wicker room. Yes, it is. <laughs> nice shirt. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, these are my last finds that we're talking about. I like them. Oh, they look better in person. I just, just trust me. And then this, what the heck did I buy this for? <laughs> it's um, like a beautiful beach dress. Beach dress swim cover up. I think I meant to send that to Jalisa and I forgot. Sorry, Jalisa. She's one of my friends from high school. And I got a scarf. This was going to be a giveaway, but I haven't done giveaways in a while because I haven't been doing lives. And I haven't even sent out all the giveaways from my other life. I feel bad. World's worst person. I'm just going to become like a creature right now. Wow. Look yeah. at this girl. Look at this look. This is a Instant. mood. Instant movie star. This, this is a mood, darling. Okay. Just can you please six feet away, if you will. Papa. <laughs> I look like a turtle. It's weird. All right, I'm done. Isn't she stunning? Uh -huh. that's, that's, that's one word for it. What is this? Oh, it's a dress. I love the colors on this. It's nice and warm. This would actually be adorable. It's back in the 70s, girl. Where are those? <laughs> they have to uh -huh. <laughs> it's I'm one. looking forward to it. <laughs> Stop. Uh, this thing, okay, now this, I gotta be honest, was dumb to buy at the bins. Not okay? really. Yes, really. No, because did you see the comment on the video? It's in shambles. The, so, the guy in the, vi the guy commented that they go sell for over $100. You think? I don't know. The so, pieces are all here, too. 
it's a safe and it's terribly heavy and at a place where you're paying by the pound i don't know how sensible that really was but it was a safe a keyless safety deposit maybe a deposit box for like an old bank it's not a safe it is a safe is it a deposit box i don't know what do i know i don't know at all yeah. You're doing good. Yeah. You're shit. doing excellent. Aw, you guys. Brett got these for himself. It's a cute little mesh equipment. I did. <laughs> you thought they were boxes. I thought they were boxes. Oh, we're getting slap happy on here. Yeah, this is a safety deposit box. Hell uh, yeah. Oh, so all the pieces are there. I told you. Show the folks. Show the crowd. Ah, gosh, damn it. You're louder than that cricket. Keyless safety. We just got to find a way to put it together. Andrea Fern. Um, I got this for Avery for some reason. Does she like these puppy surprises? I just need four little screws. I'm just screw. embarrassed to even show some of this stuff because it's not good. This doesn't go to it. It's just a cool looking piece. Maybe, oh, maybe it does. The cricket Whoa. is... is well played here. Yeah. Uh, like show them. Kind of something. <laughs> They're like, what are they looking at? It's like a different door. It's Alice Security in Security safe door. deposit. And that's a weird type of mechanism to open the lock. Mechanisms. So Brett actually found these. A little set of hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil owls. And they are from Pier 1 Import, Imports, brand new inside the box. And they're just cute little figurines. I will be listing these. However, if you like them, feel free to just message me on Instagram because it saves me the time and hassle from having to list them. I'm getting lazy. I'm so sorry. I've had this stuff sitting in the house now for three months, so it's got to get onto its home. It's for Ethaheim. Ooh, we got book yeah. one of Marith Arithmetic. Okay, I'm done. You're done. Thank you. <laughs> I was just going to tell you, boy, you're done. <laughs> it's a book. I do not condone domestic <laughs> home and garden. I couldn't live without this. <laughs> Stop. Um, bubble wrap, that was worth paying for. And the rest, honestly, is just a bunch of old spy, I spy books and things and books. I don't know, this wasn't super amazing. You know, you know, guys. And then I did find a huge Chanel bedspread, but I think I sold it because I cannot find it anywhere. So you did sell it. I did, yeah. Somebody asked me about it, but... I think there was That was a while ago, though. Yeah, it was like pretty much right after the video. I feel bad because somebody messaged me about it and they wanted it and I had forgot I had sold it. But it's gone. So I, I found that really cool green chenille bed spread. <laughs> this is my mesh equipment bag, eh? No mesh underwear. That'd be very uncomfortable. Equipment. This man actually cuts the mesh out of his swim trunks. I do. We were literally at the beach last week at Lake Geneva. He had a pair of swimming trunks that he had just bought, and we sat in the truck and literally cut the netting out of it. It's not comfortable on the boys. <laughs> TMI. TMI. <laughs> where, did, where did Mike go? He left a long time ago. I think him, my mom, Todd, they were like. <laughs> you still got 125 people trooping around. I know, and later. I'm shocked because, like, I'm like, I mean, I got a bunch of thrift hauls I could go through, but I don't know how fun I am at this ungodly hour. The trivet is still available, actually. We were just talking about that little guy. The one from, it's right there. That one? No, the little brass turtle. Oh, the turtle. Yeah, and Honey Blossom. Yeah. It is still available. Sure is. <laughs> it pinches the nugget. The way she works, <laughs> does it pinch the nugs? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd call it pinching, but it definitely, uh, you know, it 
All right, you're good. You're no, good. It's okay. It protrudes. It Sorry. does something. All right. You know, bras are uncomfortable too. Let them loose. <laughs> okay, we're done. Let them loose. Everyone's like, and they lost us. Oh, look, I said my mom, I said Todd and Mike, and none of them reappear. Todd's right there. Oh, there he is. It's just jokes. Just jokes. Free balling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Oh, hi, Isabella. Oh, that's a pretty name. From Oregon. Okay, I'm jealous. Oh, I'm being Oregon. Oh. So, I don't know. I don't know if I, I feel like I just got really boring because we kind of just fizzled out. We, we went We're through everything. Sending. Just books. That's Nobody it. wants to see all these books unless you guys want, want to play a, like, really fine game of I Spy, which nobody does. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I have more thrift hauls, but... I know we can just chat for a few more moments before we log yeah, off. We don't have, this doesn't have to be a four hour. Well, I want to get up early and go someplace. You lucky dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys have thrifting plans for the morning? Because I don't know. Horoscope time. Todd voted. <laughs> oh, I was like, uh, a little raspy. I just, I just got to. You know who wasn't on here? Gunner Carlson was not on here. Dang him. <laughs> Shapes the chassis. <laughs> All right. So we have come to the conclusion that majority of us here believe in aliens. We don't like flea bites on, <laughs> on, my, on our <laughs> And we... 60% can hear the cricket. 60% can hear the cricket. Yeah. I swear that thing is just driving me nuts. Thanks for coming by, Luann. Lo where are garage sales? She's kind of local. She's about an hour away. We cannot find any decent garage sales by us. Even my whole community had a community-wide garage sale um, two, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. There was less than 10. That's what I said. Uh, I do have an email. I will type that out. Yours truly, Ashley. Wait. That, that's not no, what I use. No, yeah, that's not. So what am I talking about? Just kidding. Ashley Rose TV at yahoo.com. Here's my email if you'd like to write to me <laughs> on our glass leader. Melissa says she's still in search of Viking. I. Cannot find the ombre bird you're looking for anywhere. <laughs> but I keep finding those red birds now. I see the red birds everywhere. And Oregon, orange rooster. Oregon has a ton of garage shells. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, man. I think, what state is the recycled life in? What state is They're in Oregon. No, it says Washington, oh, Washington. on their PO box. Oh, that's right. They're in, I don't think they're far from Oregon. Then. They probably live somewhere around the border. But this guy came all the way from... Washington. We, saw, we saw a bunch of Ellie Smith today. I don't know what it was her color though. It was. I messaged her about it, but I didn't get good service. And we didn't get good service in the antique store we were in. We got like his phone. Surprisingly for a change, got none. Mine got like a bar, but pictures weren't sending. So I tried sending you a picture and I haven't checked yet to see if you wrote that. Sorry. Is this the shady one? Oh god, no, my email. <laughs> My high school email that I'll like never live down. <laughs> I'll keep it until the day I die. Shady 1090. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will keep it, but yeah. You know, <laughs> I believe in everything paranormal. See where's Mike? He just he got mad because we talked about jumped him. on his topic. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'll tell you. Uh yeah, no. Um I want to so bad they believe in Bigfoot, I do, but I got I got big feet. <laughs> You're yeah, very special. Sweet special. I used to sell books as a bookstore manager, the most expensive. What? No way. Thousand dollars. See where's Mike? He's got two Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons manuscripts. Original manuscripts. Yeah, he's looking for a buyer. He is. Or someone to value them for that matter. How do you value that, though? I don't know. I think that's why he's having a hard time getting them valued. Poor guy. Todd, what the heck happened to Mike? Is he is he talking to you? 
Do I have to put back on these? Are these sunglasses or just like, these are bizarre. I mean, they're pretty nice. I mean, I like them. They're very Sharon Tate or mine. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. Oh. So, anyways, I'm getting really slap happy and really weird. I understand if you guys just want to click off. But, um, like I talked about earlier, we have probably 10 vlogs from this year. Or more. That still need to be published. And they are going to be slowly rolling out. And then I have really, really big, exciting news regarding um, just how I start selling things. So, I'm going to share that with you soon, but it's not quite ready just yet. So I don't know if I'll do it on a live or just make a actual video about it. Well, then it wouldn't come out to probably next year, <laughs> <laughs> but. Well, it might, that might work out more at the same time. You're funny. You're funny, man. You're so funny. <laughs> Did you ever check out the thrift books for reference? I have not. Have you ever heard of Poshmark or Mercari? I have heard of both. I don't use them. I don't really, I don't know. I'm set in my ways. Like I know what I know and all that's about it. I haven't heard. Uh, oh, Mike left without saying goodbye. So I hope the two people that thumbs up this video stub their feet. <laughs> it'll, get, it'll get more than two. You know what? I am shocked, actually, because I used to get, like, I'm not even going to go into it. Y'all already know. But I was getting a heavy, steady flow of between 20 and 30 dislikes per video mm -hmm. for months, no matter what video it was. And it was just, like, the same numbers. I mean, it was obviously the same people. But I've seen, well, my last video, at least, just half that. So I was actually proud of the haters for just so, sort of getting a life, I guess. It, that's a nice way to put it. Um, for moving on. I mean, I'm sure I'll still be swarmed with dislikes because there are just people out there that don't like me and that's okay. I'm not everyone's cup of tea and I don't want to be, but I think I was so happy to see, I'm contradicting myself, but I was happy to see the numbers slowly decrease because it, it means people are either like not concentrating on somebody they don't like or they're just growing up maybe, hopefully. But I got half the dislikes I was getting, so I was pretty happy about that. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys, not you guys here. <laughs> Speaking of, do people make more money off YouTube or selling online? That really would depend on... All the circumstances. All of the circumstances. How big your YouTube channel is, how many videos you're putting out, how many people are watching them, um, and also what you're selling. I guess I would say... Mm, probably the majority of people are making more money selling online. Mm -hmm. Unless you're uh, unless you're a really big channel yeah. with a lot of subscribers, you're probably gonna make more money than selling them. Yeah, I would say like on average, what I make on YouTube a month is like 150. It's not a lot. So, I mean, it's not like. But the granted, I don't put out a lot of videos either, so that's not a terrible number. Imagine if I actually put out videos. You know, like I could possibly make 200. <laughs> But there are channels out there in the thrifting realm, the bigger, larger channels that feel the need to put out seven videos a week that probably make at least several thousand a month. And then they list on eBay as well. So they are by far not hurting mon monetarily in any way, I'm sure, that I can fathom unless they have some obnoxious thing they have to pay off. But there's good money to be made on YouTube, but the thing is you don't get paid per sub. You don't get paid per, per video. You get paid strictly by people watching the ads. And in order to qualify for monetization, you have to have a thousand subscribers and a certain amount of watch hours. And I forget what that exact number is, maybe 4,000, 40,000, something like that. 4, watch hours before you're monetized 
Yeah. And then after that, you still don't make a lot. Um, you get paid, I think, between maybe 8 to 18 cents per ad that people view. And that doesn't count if they skip over the ad. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you're watching a YouTuber's video and you want to support, say, you love a channel and you want to help support that content creator, skipping the ad does not help them in any way. Um, watching the ads definitely helps. A lot of times, or sometimes you'll see a longer ad for like five minutes, a half hour. Nobody expects you to sit there and watch it ad, but at least watching 30 seconds to a minute of it helps them get paid. And the ones that are like under a minute, just watch them if you can. And that's the only way YouTubers get paid. And also through super chats. Like, I don't know if I can still click on them. The one, no, I can't click on them. The ones earlier that Mary Mary and Katrina left me, um, they're essentially donations that people can make on live streams. And between the ads being watched and the super chat donations on live streams, those are the only way YouTubers get paid. So unless you're putting out a bunch of videos, a lot of people are watching the ads or people are donating, you don't really make a whole lot of money from no. YouTube. And it's a numbers game. It really is. Um, I think I did really incredible. I think what when did Mary Mary done it all that? It was like two months ago. Probably two months ago. Mary Mary and I don't want to just throw her name out here. She's watching now though. They were incredibly generous and donated. <clears throat> um uh, like two months ago. So that really helped me on YouTube that month. But I think this past month, like I can log in my studio and it'll tell me what I made. <clears throat> it's, it's embarrassing. My estimated revenue right now is like 160 bucks for the past month, which isn't bad. It's just, you know, it is what it is. It's side money, I guess. But reselling, I think, would be the main part. I tend to give long answers. I'd make a terrible teacher. A kid would ask me, like, a simple question, and I'd ramble for, like, an <laughs> hour. And they'd be like, I'm checking. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. The live sales. I just, I can't. I consider the live sales a little bit much. I do. Um, they do get a, a percent. Big, a big percent. They get, I think, what is it? 30%. 30%? Yeah. So, say somebody donates like a thousand and a thousand. A hundred bucks, she'd get like 70 or 65 bucks. Yeah, which isn't bad. That's so amazing and helps a ton because that's more than I'm going to make you know, any other way, and it's tremendously appreciated, but obviously YouTube wants their cut, too, so. What do you need? <laughs> Why does YouTube not get a cut of live sales? No way to regulate it. There's no way to regulate it. Personally, I probably shouldn't say this, and I'm sure some channels will just hate me for saying it. I think they're extremely tacky. I do not like live sales. I have a lot of requests for me to do them, and I understand the appeal of them. But I just personally, it's not up to my standards. It's not a level I wish to stoop to. And I get it as a buyer's perspective. I'm not trying to insult any buyers because I recognize a few names here that I know support other channels. But me personally, I just, I'm not trying to get on and sell things to my YouTube family. I like to look at them more as a YouTube family, not who will buy my stuff, you know? So I'm just not a fan of live sales. And I think my opinion is pretty well, I'm very vocal about it. So it's not a news flash to anybody, but. When everybody started doing the live sales, I even tried to get her to do one because I knew she would be able to do well. And she's just, she's stuck to her guns and said, I'm not doing one. Yeah, and I'm not trying to say I'm better than anybody. It's just, it's not the image I want for myself. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just, I don't know. I'm sticking my nose in the air on that one because I can. But, you know, people do, I think, Instagram live sales as well. 
And I don't see a problem with that. But as far as like a YouTube live sale, I find them so ungodly tacky. Like it just, it's tacky. I'm sorry. I can't say it enough. It's so tacky. Uh, okay. Easy to list. Yeah, I think listing for a lot of people. Yeah, 30% goes to YouTube on a super dads. That's selling taste. Oh, snap. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Yes, guys, I spilt the tea. You at least got to give me credit for that. If you can't hit the big, beautiful thumbs up button, <laughs> that helps. Live sales are kind of trapping people who are not out of the pandemic. Yeah, very, very true. I feel that, that is a lot of the case, too. That's true. Also, I think my live sale vibe would definitely be... More of like just wild shenanigans party, but it would be fun. But it's just, I, I just don't want to do it. I know it'd be a quick, easy way to clear out inventory, but again, I just, I, if there's an image I want for myself, and just live sales are not it. They're just not it. It's tragic. It is tragic. I agree. The wonderful, unique items. So I always thought Mer Mercari, Mercury, nice. Mercari. I always thought that was a clothing platform. Like, I guess when it first started, maybe that's Poshmark. They were just clothing. So now I see people selling other things on there, and I get confused. They probably it. broadened their spectrum then. Yeah. Apparently, the uh, fees on there are significant. Just like Amazon was just selling books when they first started. Now they sell everything in the world. Really? Mm -hmm. They were just selling books? It was an online bookstore. I'm learning. Live sales are boring. Hi, Jay. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Well, thank you, Jim and Tammy. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, okay, as long as they get you the sales, but they don't get sales because you have things on mm -hmm. That's very true. That is incredibly true. And unfortunately, I I fell for it too. Uh, last year, I bought a base from somebody. We won't go there. And my God, I way overpaid for it. But I just wanted a piece from her. And now I'm like, Ew. Like every time I look at it, she just her her true colors have shown since, and I can see it right now looking at me. It's such a pretty base. I don't want to get rid of it, but it's just like womp womp. <laughs> I think a lot of people probably know what I'm talking about. I I won't go into detail about it, but yeah, I I feel like a lot of people do take advantage of their image, maybe or their influence. Influence and stature. Yeah, their stature is a good word for it, and it is sad. So, yeah, any thumbs down here? Much needed makeup. I love Melissa's honesty. See, I try to be like so. Um, I don't know. I just I try not to offend because I get so many people that want to look at me and like look for a reason to hate me and get mad at me. So I have to so politely word things that I love it when you guys can just kind of say what I'm wishing I could say. <laughs> Told you I have no filter. <laughs> yeah. They also avoid, what's that? Oh, Mirakari? I, I cannot say it. How is it? Mirakari. 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 It took a minute for her Karen to show. Oh, yeah. A lot of them. Uh, <laughs> so I actually had somebody willing to like mend it for me, but I don't know. It's it's pretty. It's in a Hager pattern that I like, so I don't want to just junk it. But I just wish I could resell it and get my money back for it, but that's not gonna happen. But yeah. So basically, if you guys want to support your YouTubers out there. Um, even your non-reselling channels, just watch their ads is the main way to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't even think too many YouTubers outside of reselling do lives. I think it's a pretty, like, you know what I'm saying? It got, it's blown up. Like, it's blown up pretty obnoxiously, I would say, in the vintage reselling realm. Like, now everybody wants to do a live every day of the week. Like it's You're not saying that we created these lives, but 
But we did. We kind of we did kind of pioneer them a little bit in this in this subcategory. Yeah, I would say because of how lazy I am with editing, <laughs> <laughs> that's the honest to God truth. The live halls we definitely started. We definitely started the live halls. I know a lot of, a lot of the live sales were already going on before I started in the live halls, but I started in the live halls, and Not I. Everybody's doing. I would say after people started seeing some of the donations I got, there's channels now that make it a point to do hauls, live hauls very frequently. And to me, as like somebody who knows these people and has dealt with these people, it's very transparent to me that they're just in it to get the money. <laughs> like you're literally doing it, hoping people will donate. And mm. it's just, it drives me nuts because I know these people, and I don't want to get on here and talk poorly of anybody, but it annoys me. <laughs> so I'm saying it. <laughs> oh, Mike woke back up. All right, good. Here. I have so much advice, but I give up on giving advice. Wow. <laughs> what did you, Nancy? I just woke up. You just woke up. I think live sales aren't fail. Some people, it's internet, it's faster, and they hear. That's true, too, yeah. What did Valley Cat say? Scrub. Oh, <laughs> at the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would rather be yeah. Yeah, so I would appreciate a thumbs up. How long have you been doing live hauls? When did I start? May. Did I? End of May. I, I started think. like shortly after the whole hoarders hangout disaster fell off, and then I did just I did I started doing my own live as a haul because I just want to get on here and talk about nothing. And I also wanted to get my haul videos out there without having to put a bunch of time into editing. Mm -hmm. So I started doing that. And then since then, it's like every single channel. It was either the end of May or the first week of June. And I don't have a problem with channels doing live hauls, but it's just so obvious what some are doing. I'm going to get so much crap for this video. I already know it. <laughs> but it's just like, are you really doing it to interact with your viewers? Like, I don't know. I refuse to look at or watch. There's probably less than four reselling channels I will look at or watch anymore. I will look at um, Jay, who's on here. I will look at Tammy and Jim, The Recycled Life, and Gino's Finds. Actually, I like to watch him. If you guys haven't heard of him, he's really funny. He's super sweet. And those are the only four reselling channels I will watch anymore. I will not watch anybody else that I once associated with because it's just blindly, extremely obvious to me what they're aiming for these days. So, And that's not me. I don't know. So enough about my high horse, I guess. I just need to vent from the cookie book. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Skittles. Was it you who sent these peacocks like Skittles? Oh, it was my tattoo artist when he was doing the peacock. He's like, just throw some Skittles in your yard and like the peacock will come. Apparently, mm. peacocks like Skittles. It's a thing. Maybe that's why they're so colorful. <laughs> I love Melissa. She is just brutally honest and I love it. So true about the hair. Response video. What hair? My hair? No, no, no. The Karen hair. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, my hair? Just... No, no, there won't be a response video. No. I mean, I haven't tried to slam anybody directly or. There, is, there hasn't been any slamming. You're just giving opinions on. I, I guess I'm just a little sad the direction reselling and thrifting channels have taken this year. It's not the happy go lucky vlog like vlogging, happy-go-lucky vlogging it once used to be. It's become extremely cutthroat, extremely gossipy behind the scenes, and it's all about making money. And it's that's not what I aim to do. It's just, it's not my cup of tea. I mean, yes, it's nice to sell. I do resell, but I, I don't do the live sales. And um, I don't make my videos all about money either. I like to 
browse around, show you guys around, and take you on a virtual shopping tour and just have fun with it. And I don't like to take life seriously, so that's going to come through my videos as well. So everyone has their own personality. So, oh, yay. So Jay knows about Gino's finds. He is so, he's so funny. Like, I I think he's a riot. Mm. We, we like to watch Gino's finds. Mm. He's in Florida. So, yeah, you guys should definitely check him out. <laughs> Nancy's like, yes, Gino. <laughs> it's fun to find the animal. Yes, the thrill of the hunt, like the treasure hunt mm -hmm. is what I call it. I love that so much. Exactly. Right now, I am a struggling woman. <laughs> I don't have a full-time job. I was really looking forward to Avery going to school, so I would have time to dedicate to making more videos and finding a real job. But now they're doing remote learning here in um, my state as of now, so I don't know what all I'm going to do. <laughs> So I think uh, the answer to that is, yeah, I'd say reselling is her full time. Well, the thing is, I, I could apply more of myself to it, mm -hmm. but I just don't have the time to sit there and list all day like other people might because I have, Avery is a very high maintenance child. Do not let her fool you. She is, uh, she's a uh, very in your face kind of kid. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I do resell to make my money right now. What? Oh, I'm gonna ask all them. It's llamas like cat food. My dog likes my cat's food, and my cats like my dog's food. It's, it's weird. <laughs> you talking about me? I tell you, you see my and so you let me. Oh, I'm sorry. I will look again. I am pretty bad about getting back to messages sometimes. That's true. Well, yeah. I feel like I'm going to get so much hell for this video. Like, you didn't say anything bad. And I don't know. I, I did realize yesterday, last night, actually, I was blocked from. So, okay. This whole year has just been weird without going into everything because I'm not going to. Channels got mad at me for blocking one person and it turned into a big shitstorm and everyone hated me, tried to cancel me, hates my guts, X, Y, and Z, you know, the channels. <clears throat> and then so I did my very best I could to try to make it up to these people. I was very hurt to lose the friendships that I thought I had, X, Y, and Z. Well, you know, I can only kiss ass so much. <laughs> and um, I tried to make amends. People didn't want that to happen, so whatever. But the person that originally got, I had blocked, that had a problem with me, I found out last night, she now has me blocked. After I unblocked her, wrote her an apology for my shenanigans early in the year, she now has me blocked, and I'm blocked on everybody else's page. So I'm like, okay. I literally unblocked everybody on Instagram except like some real life people that have like issues that I know in real life. Um, and then last night I found out that I was blocked from literally like every like reseller probably channel that I made. Mm -hmm. So I did, I went through and I just blocked them all too. Cause I'm like, you know what? At this point I'm just cutting you guys out because there's no repairing this. You clearly don't want to make amends. So I'm just, I'm not, I'm done trying. So yeah. if anyone wants to get on here, and screenshot in the morning on Instagram, bitching that they were blocked because they couldn't comment on this chat. There's a bunch of channels blocked right now. So if anybody already tried, I mean, <laughs> the whole click is blocked at this point because I tried being nice and I tried making amends and a girl can only try so damn hard before it just, it's, it's not tangible anymore. You know, I, I, I really didn't want to talk about this, but, it's just the drama's been going on so damn long. It has, and it's been so ridiculous. And I thought we got past it, but then when I found out I was blocked after I apologized to everybody, after I did everything I could to make amends, I'm like, all right, I'm just done. Like, I can't keep on this act. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just cutting ties with that whole group, and they're all blocked. I don't really care what they say. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, I love you, Kristen. You make me smile. Oh. <laughs> you still need two cobalt blue hens. Do I think I have a cobalt blue? Wait, did I sell it? I had one. I sold my one cobalt blue, but I see them all the time. I will give you one. Um, it's, it's pretty cutthroat from some of them for sure. It's very cutthroat. And clicky. It's very, very clicky. Um, Dallas City Vintage, he has a relatively new channel, and even he has had some experience with thumbs downers. And I don't know his full story, but from what I've heard him say, like he's already experienced that kind of stuff. But don't let it discourage you. Like here I am with 140 people watching me at, what time is it? Two, two in, the morning. in the morning so there's at least 80 people out there <laughs> watching me that maybe like me a little bit so like don't take yourself away from people that will love your content and your videos just in fear of pissing off a few cranky people anyways you know there's mm -hmm. always going to be the cranky people there's always going to be the haters so if you want to start a channel start one but just know it's very cutthroat i never in my life would have expected thrifting and reselling to be so wild but it is and i feel like it's almost like being the beauty guru <laughs> look at these pit Ugh. stains on this man look at the pit stains i feel like we're in the beauty guru like realm this man's like oh god she shouldn't have talked about this yep oh <laughs> i'm just addressing things and i'm not putting anybody's name out there <laughs> So don't let anybody take it away from me. If you want to start a channel, start a channel. And um, just keep in mind to have fun. It's what I think it should mainly be about. And do what will make you happy. There's nothing wrong with me saying that. <laughs> he wants to smack me, I'm sure. Exactly. Oh, well, thank you. I wanted to start a channel, but nothing to do with thrifting. I think that. If you want to start a channel, I think you should. That's very true, too. Exactly. Sweet. It's 841. Where, where are you? <laughs> Wait, what did Eric say? Let me scroll up. I saw. Sorry, my contacts are like, okay. I missed the job, but I know that you're a good person with a good heart. Do that and stuff. Yeah. I do like that saying. That is nice. Thank you. Speaking of beauty guru, Rain Guy sucked with his clothing and stuff. It was kind of good too. Oh. Oh, wow. The Netherlands? That's crazy. Okay, I am so curious if people like from the Netherlands or like, I don't know, just these like, you know, random countries. Like, how did you ever stumble upon me? Like, I'm so grateful, but like, how? How did you find little old me? <laughs> it's very true. It's very. You look so small back here. We almost look the same height. Look at him. He's like ready for bed. You, you, you're excused. I'm excused. <laughs> you're excused. You're going to take the dog out. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I got to scroll up really quick. Ah! Um. 243. What is it here? It's 143. Dang. We definitely have to get up and find like antique stores. Yeah, we should probably be clicking off here pretty soon. Pretty soon. Look at yeah. my dad over here, time limiting me. I told your mom I'd have you home by midnight. My mom is eating snacks or dancing at some bar, okay? She is living her best life. She always like comes on and then doesn't say bye. Like she just she peaced out. Mm -hmm. We don't know what happened to Bunny. Bunny doesn't know what happened to Bunny. Bunny's hopping around. I mean, because <laughs> because I said her name, she'd be like, "What? I heard her name." <laughs> Maybe she like leaves it there while she's playing words with friends. My mom loves that game. She's obsessed. You guys should add her if you play it. <laughs> it got really quiet. The only thing I can hear now is this damn cricket. So. Shopping tomorrow. That's the tea, guys. Yep. Melissa's shopping. Midwest Coast time. That's Aww. true. 
Definitely, that's what it is. He's all right. He's all right. Just a second, too. What did he say? Oh, some of your items. Um, I will have to look. Well, oh, I got some coming. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I don't. Know. I don't. I don't want to end the note on that. I'm trying to think. What What can we end the note on? All right. I don't want to end it on that note. That's a bad note to end it on. <laughs> For real though, I think this was totally cute. Just us at 50 plus. Jim, you are a romantic. I love that. He goes, Tammy, if you're watching this, I love that. <laughs> that was really, really cute. So anyways, I feel terrible that the end of this video I guess I just, I, I guess I had to get out there how I felt. But aside from the end, I think we had a really good time on here. I absolutely love the, like, love, love, love the sign that you guys made me. I love the macrame owl. Thank you to Laura and Selena. <laughs> Ended on the cricket. <laughs> Catch the cricket. Move over. What? The owl. Just chill. Just chilling, living its best life. You guys gotta see its eyes. If you're just tuning in, you gotta check out its eyes. Oh, and something just fell off. He's got lurking eyes. He's a lurker. Oh, yeah. We gotta name him. Oh my god. Okay, that's how we're gonna end this. What are we naming the owl? Do we have a name for him? Um, lurking. Lurking? Mm -hmm. Lurking the owl. Lurking the gherkin. What? Stop what are you, Dr. Sin? <laughs> lurking the gherkin. <laughs> Something really gross. Uh, how'd you do that before? It just goes, yep, 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 yep. Oh my gosh, I am so sad right now. So we got, or I should say I bought, <laughs> this absolutely incredible shell chandelier off of Facebook Marketplace this past week, like literally yesterday or the day before. And it is 74 inches tall. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. But I'll show you a picture really quick. Um, da, 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 da. So, so I bought this off of Facebook Marketplace this past, like literally within the past two days. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was there, this woman, as soon as we walked up onto her property, She's like, oh, come on back. You know, she had a nice fenced in backyard. And she's like, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Take a look around. If you see something you like, you can buy it. It was for the most part all crap. So <laughs> I didn't see anything I wanted, but I just happened to ask her. I was like, you don't happen to have any macrame owls, do you? And just like everybody that I asked, she goes, I do, but it's like my favorite. And I I'm don't not really want to sell it. Yeah. So I was like, okay. And then she's like, but you can make an offer. And I was like, okay, well, do you have pictures? Like, how big is it? Like, how tall is it? She goes inside her house. Well, first she says, they're going for a lot of money on eBay. I don't think you'd really want to spend that much. That's what she said. Yeah. Well, the picture's on your phone, not mine. Dang you, but I have her eBay listing. It's six feet tall. It's literally, she brought out this owl from the house. It was as tall as Brett. Like literally, like she laid it out on this table, like this picnic table she had in the back of her yard. And I wanted to buy it so bad, but I just it's not in my budget at the moment. But she listed it on eBay. She's trying to sell it for way too much money. It's on eBay right now. I'll show you guys this picture. But I don't know if that's a fridge or what, but that is the biggest. That's a room divider. Macro, well, yeah. It's literally still six feet tall this macrame owl i want it so bad but she was like they're going for two or three hundred or no three, three or four three or four hundred on ebay and we're like mm, <laughs> i would have offered her like 60 but no like but i wanted it so bad it was so pretty so uh, i just had to tell you guys about the damn uh, owl that was that number one <laughs> Get her ass editing. This man is an enabler to just let me just watch movies and do nothing at night. So if I don't put out a video, it's mm -hmm. his fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so nice of them. 
Larry the Lurker. Ooh, Larry. He could definitely he he does look like a lurker. Larry the Lurker. Eat all those cakes you showed in the supermarket. Which you I don't know. Were you filming cakes when we were at Mariano's? Did I film wait, wait today? Cakes? Did I show cakes? Not today. Oh, when Myers was on a generator. Oh, that day? Probably. Yeah. Oh. Myers will hook it up with the cakes. Like if you're looking for some cakes, Myers is the place to go. <laughs> I watch more of the last year on the TV. Oh wow. Ten? I don't even, I I don't even think I well, I know ten. That thing is amazing. Maybe you look tiny. Yeah, the shell chandelier. It was so it's as heavy. Tall as me. And probably weighed sixty pounds at least. You think sixty? No. You couldn't even pick it up. Well, I can barely pick up a lot of things. Oh, as well, snackling. The shell chandelier, she was originally asking 100 for it, which was a bargain of a price, and I got her down a little bit in price. So not quite 100 not quite super cheap either. <laughs> was what is the bidding at on eBay? She made her starting bid on the owl. 150 bucks and that's the starting bid and uh, go her like if she's thinks she's gonna get that like more power to her but i really wanted it really really bad i really wanted to buy it but it's just not in my realm right now what are you, what are you trying to come he gets this most serious face ever that's it feel better Crazy Dog said, we already named an owl, Rusty, after your dog, in another video. I think we'll name this one Larry. Larry the Lurker. Lurking. TV Lurkin. Lurkin Larry. Lurkin Larry. <laughs> Lurkin Larry. So, yeah. Teach him to edit. I'm so picky. Even if I taught him, I'd be like. She's a micromanager. She's no, a, I'm a perfectionist. She's a, she's a micromanaging micromanager. Dr. Seuss like, coming out again? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to learn to edit. The thing is, no, I just have a quirky editing style, and I'm really, like, particular about certain Zoom she's shots. Like, she's like, I have to package some stuff up to go out today in the mail. Can you can you help me? I'm like, yeah, I got it. I package it all up. She comes back, <laughs> unpackages the whole thing. No, I was just checking to make sure it was all mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. checking, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it up now? Her eBay um owl is up now. It's humongous. I'll pull up the thing and show you guys. So you can find it under Boho Macrame Owl Wall Art Hippie Vintage Six Inch Huge Planter Claws. And this is oops, there we go. Go up. That says six foot. Six foot, huge planter claws, $150 plus $17.76, the year America was founded for shipping. And that is the starting bid. So if I was a working gal, <laughs> I would buy it, but I can't. But it's really, really cool. So if you guys love owls, it's really cool. I've seen it in person. <laughs> it was huge. And if you did purchase it, you're helping a lady to get her coyote back. Or you could just purchase it and send it here. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. Uh, yeah, apparently she raised coyotes. That was a whole other story. It was just, she was. She was a sad lady. That was so mean. <laughs> well, she was. She was very sad. She was sad. The, the, City came and took her pet coyotes away from her, and she's been fighting for 18 months to get her. Well, they killed two of them. There's still one alive, and she's been fighting with lawyers for the last 18 months to get her coyote back. That is sad. She was very down. It's just the way it worded it. It sounded kind of like. No, I wasn't calling her like a sad human being. <laughs> like she was a sad lady. She was definitely desperate to get her coyote back. That was like her baby. Yeah. But I don't know. I think like the shell chandelier I got, she was asking a hundred on it. And Man, that, who cares if lady was sad? I don't want to talk about my chandelier. <laughs> I'm just saying her price on the shell chandelier I got was so affordable. 
And then as soon as she got like a little taste of like sales, you know, and the money, she like skyrocketed her prices all of a sudden. Cause then she's like, Oh, I have another shawl chandelier. And she had one that was half the size. And she's like, I'll sell it to you for a hundred. And I'm like, the one I just bought is like double the size of this. And I didn't say this to her, but I'm thinking like, I just paid a hundred for one twice that size. Three times the size. Yeah. And then she was like, Oh, the owl, mm, you know, 150. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe sentiment. You know, I don't know. I'm just black. She had three pet coyotes, but they weren't, they weren't, she said they weren't necessarily pets. She had them outside in these huge, like, running, like, what are they called? Uh, pens? Yeah, like pet, run, pens. pet runs or pet pens. And, uh, yeah, she had, her neighbor down the street was a cop or something, and he turned her in. I don't know. I guess she had the permits for him, but something, something, I don't know. Yeah. Was, was anyway, she's, she's just distraught. And Gigi says, who the hell has a pet coyote? How much was the shipping? She has it listed for $17.76 shipping. Is it even legal to? I guess you can have certain exotic or wildlife animals. You can have permits, yeah. You can have permits, I guess. And she somehow had permits, but they got taken away. So now she's going to move to Indiana because it's easier to get the permits back. <laughs> I bought the antique glass chandelier with crystals for ten dollars. Gave to me. Ooh, well, that sounds pretty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've, nothing in me has ever wanted to have a pet coyote. A pet yeah. peacock would be cool. How about a pet dog? I have a pet dog. Right, that's what normal people have. We got a pet cricket. We got a cricket that's just. He's almost got a capybara, but I don't have a Jennifer for a pool. Oh, those are like the big rodents. Holy moly, that thing would be definitely crazy. I, I think she did have the license. She did. I don't know why it got taken from her. Somebody picked up a stink. Yeah. I guess if you look up Luna the Coyote on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Save Luna own, the yeah. Coyote. Something like Save Luna the Coyote. She's got her own channel. Yeah, she's got a channel, but we do have a pet cricket, and the damn thing won't ever shut up. <laughs> it's loud. Are we keeping you up? It's like bullet. My cat drives me insane. He does. Are we keeping you up? He seems to. Me? It's so sad. Put the stunner shades on. All right, I'm going to try to talk him into getting up early and driving out of state to go shopping. You Depen guys, depends you guys should just comment depends that it's an absolutely marvelous idea. Brett and runs on Duncan. <laughs> Brett loves Duncan. Brett loves Duncan. <laughs> Brett loves Duncan. <laughs> um, so we look really cool. Thumbnail. <laughs> Wait, what the hell, Mom? We got to do it with that. We're going to do a thumbnail, guys, because this is what we do at this time. How do we usually do four-hour live streams? It's like three hours, and we're like, you're pooping out on me. All right, you got to hold out because I'm not quite this tall. All right, ready? This is going to be our thumbnail, guys. If this looks weird, don't think, don't think too much of it. All right, ready? You got you to gotta do the thing. Perfect. <laughs> we are so lame. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a bobtail quail. Oh, babies, quail eggs. <laughs> Avery asked how much it would be for peacock eggs. And you can actually buy them on eBay for like 100 bucks. Yeah. And I so badly want to, but I don't have the yard for it. So that wouldn't be a good idea for me right now. But one day. I would love a peacock. I can give you half of that. Oh my god, you did not just go there. You are so disgusting. Guys, can you really just. What? You really just said that? That's the power of live TV. Oh my god, I think this man needs to go to bed. All right, people are saying what a marvelous idea. 
busted. They're all like, yes, get the hell off live and go shopping. <laughs> uh, they're telling us that we should go shopping. I haven't seen anybody say that. Everybody just said it. Everybody. All 135 people watching said that we. I see people shopping. talking about squirrels and coyotes and possums. No. Will you go to Oregon? No, they said um, it's a marvelous idea to go shopping. I haven't seen yes. any. Yes. Oh, and there's new comments. Let's see the other A peahen. See, they learned that a female peacock is called a peahen. <laughs> What's the only animal she doesn't like? I don't know. Wait, I gotta scroll up. Oh, coyote. Oh. <laughs> Okay, everybody came in. There. Uh, yeah, thank you. Everyone says we need. So if Brad doesn't take me shopping tomorrow, if on my Instagram story, I am not out and about shopping. Blame it on this guy. No, he's a good sport. He always takes me everywhere. See, I gave you props. I gave you props. <laughs> Somebody got it. No, we all got it. We didn't find you funny. <laughs> Where am, where am I? I don't know. You're scrolling way up. Stop. You're going to delete everything. I don't know what that is. ATM. Water. Garbage. Boys and girls. Is that not garbage? That's a cop. No, no, it's a guy putting... No. Oh, that's garbage. Garbage ATM. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Peacocks are never tame. You can't touch them. Oh, we'll poo on those dang peacocks. <laughs> Wait, Anne, what are you doing? Where'd you come from with all these Anne, emojis? Anne learned how to use the emojis. <laughs> Anne's on her emojis. <laughs> Anne's going to be like, you know what, guys? F you. It's the last time I give you my emojis. <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So... Anyways, if you guys have some amazing shops, you could please recommend us in hopefully a reasonable distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chicago land. I've probably already been there, but I'm on the prowl, man. I never know when to stop. So, you know, sure don't. Melissa. <laughs> Anne's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anne's like, yes. Get off. In her best way possible, Anne was saying, go shopping. <laughs> She's like, your video is getting garbage like. <laughs> All right. I guess we're, we're getting slap happy. I am literally on three hours of sleep because I could not sleep last night. <laughs> Notice I still didn't get a video edited, but I couldn't sleep. We watched The Boy too. And I yeah, and it. she sat here on the couch until 5 o'clock this morning on Instagram and on her phone? No, not on Instagram. Yeah. I watched Bates Motel. Uh-huh. Priorities. Every time I woke up, I looked over and you're on your phone. At 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. I Google because my, my anxiety makes my thoughts race. <laughs> we sound like an old married couple. We sound old and cranky. I'm old. Yeah. You got some years under you still. Oh, I have really exciting news for you guys for my 30th. Oh, dang, I said it. <laughs> for my birthday. <laughs> what I'm going to be doing, I have an idea. What? You've already, what? what is this little look? So I have an idea. It's not an idea. It's going to come to life. I know what we're going to do for my birthday. And I think you guys are really going to like it. And everybody will bet. I bet it. they can all guess what you're going to do for your birthday. <laughs> what? Same thing you always do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Watch the movie The Boy. I've seen The Boy before. The I Boy was good. I loved it. That's just the thing. I loved that movie. Why do I got makeup on my face? The, the, the Boy was good, but The Boy too was junk. <laughs> junk? <laughs> okay, so I loved The Boy. And, cons and considering I rented it for a day from Redbox, and it's... You're awful at telling stories. We basically have had He's... it long enough now that I own it. <laughs> so I love The Boy. Uh -huh. And then The Boy 2, I couldn't wait to see it. The trailer looked amazing. So he goes and gets it on Redbox, and we've had it for over probably Three two, weeks. 
two to three weeks now. Yeah. And we finally watched it last night. And oh my God, I could not be more disappointed in it. I was so distraught. I was like, like, that was literally terrible. Like, you took a, a great franchise. Not that it was a franchise, but you took a great movie. And you just gave it a stupid sequel that didn't need to be a thing. And now it, like, spoiled, like, the franchise for me. I don't know. The Boy was great, though. If you guys like horror, slow movies, non-gory, The Boy is really good. No, no marriage plans. But definitely some fun... Shopping plans. <laughs> yeah, click the next one. What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know me far too well. Um, it's actually a state that I've never been to before. And that's all I'm going to say for now. And so that's really, really exciting. I'm hoping to get at least four videos out of that that might be up by next summer. I like wearing these glasses. <laughs> I know you do. You like blinding everybody. And then I will soon also be releasing the info on where I'll be selling next because I had so many people complaining about how they don't have Instagram, X, Y, and Z. I'm still going to keep Honey Blossom. I'm still going to list some of my, like, I guess, more affordable pieces on there, my more kitschy pieces, I guess. But I'm going to have a really nice platform where I can showcase and sell my better pieces so to speak so i'm jamming out to the you're just distracting the everybody the sound of the cricket i'm jamming out to the cricket yeah well he is renting bill and ted face the music that's aging us mike us well, mike's got a little age on me but. us and i try to make sense of it guess stop gas light stop Train, car. Motorcycle helmet. Ambulance. That's not a motorcycle. Ambulance is a stop sign. That's a, I got a motorcycle That's helmet. That's a train. On. What? That's a train. Oh. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't need the ambulance. Yeah. I don't know what the ambulance is for, Anne. <laughs> Damn it, Anne. <laughs> hopefully that's not a premonition. No. No ambulance. But hopefully there's a lot of gas in the truck. <laughs> Green lights, <laughs> but um, yeah, Debbie, you'll like it. I think I think it'll be a major improvement in my sales. It is not Las Vegas. No, Las it is Vegas. about the complete opposite of Las Vegas. It's pretty much exactly the complete opposite. Yeah, it's it's fun. So it's. I mean, he's really looking forward to wow. it. This man. The amount of fun that can be had. Oh, you're going to love it. The amount of fun that can be had in that state. Is just... <laughs> Shut up. You love a sweet corn. You can probably pick yourselves, huh? Probably. Probably. Right off the husk. <laughs> it's just that husk. I'm going to get me some sweet corns about the field. <laughs> I'm going to rip it right off the husk. And it's, you know, a good sweet Stop. corn. A good sweet corn you ain't even got to cook. I tell you, you get right out the field, go down there, and you just take a bite right off that old oh, man, that, that corn on the cob. I'll tell you. Okay. I'll tell you. I, I don't know what happened. I apologize. <laughs> Who is she? I don't know. Uh, it's going to rain. There's going to be a beach. There's going to be a Fireworks. solar flare. It's going to be Halloween and party, party time. And then Ooh. some Asian people. <laughs> some Asian people. You can't say Asian. No, you can't say it. Oriental? Denver. No. You shuck it right there in the field. You do? Get some sweet tea. Now, I love me some sweet tea. Well, I think everybody loves them some sweet tea. McDonald's has some bomb sweet tea. <laughs> I tell you, there's just some, some gentleman with a girlfriend with a Karen haircut had too much sweet tea and his teeth fell out. <laughs> You're going to get me in so much <laughs> trouble for that remark. What are you talking about? Oh, There's God. tons of Karens and tons of sweet tea drinking people <laughs> with no teeth. Digging in the dirt. Feeling froggy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get me in so much trouble. Stop. You didn't say anything. <laughs> 
But are you feeling froggy? With these glasses on, I'm I know you're so here. froggy. This is like tall floor in the mall. <laughs> That's literally what you look like. Mm -hmm. But Tennessee, y'all down there have like Pennsylvania. That's a great place to go. Sweet tea. I hear there's lots of frogs in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Stop. They're all leapy and shit. <laughs> oh my! Is that where they are? That they were in Virginia. No, they're in. I think all those frogs are in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Kristen knows. See, <laughs> nobody else knows. Kristen oh knows. my god! <laughs> <laughs> he got me in so much trouble, guys. If anything bad comes with this video, I blame it on Brett. He's gonna get beat with this rainbow trout. Yeah. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Why don't we just turn into a hillbilly skit at the end? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I I was good. I said that's probably my favorite part. What's that? Just your whole moment. Yeah. That well, I moment. mean, when you got like somebody that's like five foot four. <laughs> Shut up, you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> like five foot four, you know, never seen me before. Stop. Saying if I feel froggy. Stop. I bet you the tune changes if you saw me in person. Stop. Stop. Oh my God, guys. He's going to get me in trouble. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my God. People know. See, they, we, they know what you're talking about. That's fine. I hope he knows what I'm talking about, too. They come to dislike. They don't actually stick around to watch the videos. They just click on to dislike and send their like people and probably leave. Thing is, he'd pack his shit and go running. Stop. Stop. Here I am trying to be all um, calm and collected. Just... So I couldn't talk poorly about live sales earlier, but you can sit here. I'm. I'm not. I don't have a channel. I'm not a reseller. Uh, oh, that's funny. Four foot. <laughs> you said four foot. Four foot trolling. Yeah, he's like. I mean, frogs don't get that tall. Um. They're just loud when they make noise. That's it. <laughs> the hillbilly sounds still I know him. He's actually. Referring to somebody that kind of uh, talk shit to me. It was aimed at me, but then it turned into you. Yeah, no, he told me if I feel froggy, leap. He did. Eh. I told him I had. I hope I can meet him one day and buy him a drink. So. <laughs> and then he peaced out. And then he didn't say another word. Collecting frogs. <laughs> <Fucking bad. laughs> you guys are cracking me up with these comments. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> mm. Mm, some French fried taters, I reckon. Stop it! You're gonna get me in so much trouble. At first, she comes from emojis to like names. Yeah, what the hell, Anne? You know, I try, and, I try to beat her on the bush as best I could, Anne. And then Anne, Anne's like, you know, firecrackers, ambulances. <laughs> Name. <laughs> she just came out of the woodwork with that. She's like, <laughs> "Oh, I love the internet. It's a beautiful place to be." <laughs> oh my goodness! I am. And crying. it's like dragons. <laughs> <laughs> she spoke fluent emojis. <laughs> 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 oh my god we are going to hell in a handbasket oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I can't oh you guys drag me up <laughs> I don't even know what even happened? I don't know. Just Anne came in with her emojis. 
I then you so. came in with your accent, and she's like, "Oh, I know." Pick me. And no. Nope. All I was talking about was corn on the cob. What happened? Stop. <laughs> You can't. Oh my gosh, this man is uninvited. I might get hit with a metal detector or something. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get me in so much trouble. You didn't say anything. Nobody no, said anything. but you're an accomplice. I'm oh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Your smile. Oh, the juice. I think it's just shit, my juice is empty. Yeah, he drank his. We literally have empty water bottles at this point. <laughs> That's my juice. You know, I got I got a water bottle over here if you like it. What the hell, Ann? What crazy, pimp. crazy, crazy pimp the haha. <laughs> All right. It's half emoji, half. <laughs> Ann's went full spectrum now. She went all emoji to. Legible writing <laughs> to not legible writing. <laughs> oh, yes. You started at corn, which is sweet. Oh, yeah. And then you somehow got to like frogs and then metal. Yeah, none of it even makes any sense, right? No, it didn't, it didn't make any sense out of what I was saying. There was nothing, Sorry. there was nothing there, right? Oh. <laughs> four, five foot, four, troll Five foot four froggy ribbits. Trollish. <laughs> oh, drink it without sugar. The sweet, the tea. Well, that would definitely not be sweet. To you <laughs> She's anymore. talking about tea. <laughs> no, but Tennessee has the best. Tennessee has the best sweet tea. It does. Everywhere we went, yeah, well, I'm sure the vlog will be coming out before Christmas. In Tennessee, mm -hmm. had the best sweet tea. Mm -hmm. That's how we got on the subject. Oh, no, we were talking about the state and then the opposite of Las Vegas. My birthday plans to the opposite of Las Vegas. And then you talking about corn. Yeah, that's how we got on that sub subject. I don't even know. We do need some sleep. We are slap happy. Slap happy is a good word. I thought she was six feet. I think she just looks that tall because he's so short. Stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tease. Tennessee sweet tea is the best. I wanted to take some home. You should. No, not Idaho. I would. Idaho's like the West Coast almost, right? It's like, no, you're not. I don't, shut up. I hate <laughs> you so much. I hate you. Uh, I need to go to sleep. You do. You do. Um, oh, now Kristen's speaking emojis. <laughs> the tea, the corn, the frog. Um, but... That's a, like upper by Montana. Mm -hmm. No, that's like Idaho, my dream state. To Idaho see is like yeah, not it's Idaho, under, it's over by uh, underneath South Dakota, right? No. Next that's to South Dakota. That's Iowa. No, Idaho is left Iowa's of Montana. Iowa is underneath Minnesota. Iowa is west of Montana, if I am well, not mistaken. I don't know. What? Do, look at us arguing with 128 people watching at two in the morning. <laughs> yeah, why the hell are you still watching? <laughs> <laughs> We're literally like we just don't know how to say goodbye. We're those like awkward people at parties that are like, yeah. "We're just gonna stay till the end." Yeah, force us to leave. <laughs> right. Everybody's gone. Like they're turning the lights off. They're like, we're going to bed now. We're like, like, okay. They're like, you can. I mean, you can stay if you want, but I mean. No, you can't. We're those awkward people that don't know how to like just shut up and go to bed. <laughs> Wait, need to step stool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are cracking me up. See, it was it was great at the end. We I vented. Okay, I got to open some fun things, share with y'all some of the stuff I bought. I vented, talked some smack, and then you just came in rolling with the like innuendos. Mm -hmm. Innuendos, sexual innuendos. Maybe if that's the way he wants to take it. Oh God, the corn, <laughs> the corn right off the husk. I'll keep it on the husk. I know the hoe. And you, where, where did you come from? <laughs> he don't have to go, but you gotta stay here. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. 
We should. All right, we are going to do just that. Anyone knows that? Oh my! Well, All fun right. facts brought to you by Todd Anderson. Are they garlicky? No. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Glenna. I guess, guys, before Brett gets me in any further trouble, or I get myself in trouble, we are going to go. Oh, thank you, Anne. I appreciate that. <laughs> Doesn't she always, though? Some need to have corn on town. Yeah, you guys are just kind of making me hungry now. I'm just saying. Let's talk about sweet tea and corn. Yeah, good time. So anyways, on that note, we do have really exciting news coming. I'll probably make it, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it on a live or just an official video. But I have some really fun birthday plans that I think all of you are going to love. Because virtually... It will be something you can participate in. Uh, kind of. See? I don't know. I don't know. Just take my word for it. It's It'll make me happy. And also, a new platform is coming for me to sell some things on. So if you don't have eBay or Instagram, that's okay. And on that note, I think um, <clears throat> I'm going to go. <laughs> So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Melissa. Nancy. I, everybody. Valley Cat. Raven. I think Raven fell asleep because we haven't heard from her in a while. Uh, just everybody that participated in conversation. You guys make me laugh and make me have a good time. And that's what I do these lives for. That's what it's all about. So thank you. And Glana, you too, Forest Finds, and uh, Dallas City Vintage. You guys, go check out his channel when you click off this video. Give him a like, subscribe, and I'm going to try to get out a video by Monday. Tuesday, maybe. I'm really going to aim for Monday. This is going to be the shortest live we've ever done. I know. I'm shocked. StreamYard won't be yelling at me. Yeah, so I'll have a new video, I think, Monday morning, if not Monday afternoon. and Wednesday. And thank you for joining us, giving us some laughs there towards the end. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. And, uh, wait, you got to end it with the, the thing. What's the thing? The, the sign. What sign? The, the thing that the fell that was right here. All right, and thank you. No, no, not that. The smaller one. Yeah. Don't go to see it. Yeah, it's right in front of my face. Watch this up. Wait, wait, and thank you also, Jim and Tammy, so very much. I love, love, love the sign. Y'all. And on that note. Love, love, love y'all. Oh, look where it was made in Franklin, Tennessee. All right. I bet yeah. you they got good sweet tea there. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. Love y'all, and... I'm super short, so I gotta like lean over. Bye!